Morning, happy Easter Sunday. Now, is it today we're allowed to eat our eggs and our chocolates and things like that, or is it tomorrow? I never know. I never. Hannah's already started hers. Well, no, she's. she's at, at a, at, no, you shouldn't have had it yesterday, Paul. That was definitely wrong. I think it's today, because isn't it today the last day of Lent? I think it's today we're allowed. Jane Alcott sent me a lovely one. It was a sea salt and something one, and it was absolutely delicious. That's all gone. Uh, and Margaret sent me a whole hamper of goodies. That's all gone. Hamper. Anyway, let's do the early bird. I'm reminiscing about Easter already. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's do, let's do the early bird. Now, it doesn't look much on the table. But here we go. I'm, I'm not, I can't even go there at 8 o'clock in the morning. A little Paul's in, everybody, by the way. He says hello, everyone. Um, now, is this already pre-cut? Uh, you, you buy it by the half metre. You buy it by the half metre. Now, you're thinking, why, John... Have you got, it, it's called ivory, it's not ivory. It's a kind of um, cafe latte, mockery sort of colour, right? But look, 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 the reason. There you go, it's 5 for, it's wide, it's wide, 60 inches, it's 60 inches wide. 5 for half a metre. It's a lovely, uh, now what are you going to use it for? What, were you, oh, I know, I now see what Hannah was talking about earlier. I couldn't figure out, she was talking about, you know when she makes Tilda dolls, she uses this for the bodies of a Tilda doll. I, I couldn't figure out what she was talking about earlier. Five pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. Uh, it's a special price, special purchase. Master on my bottom. Oh, hang on, hang on, my very vocals on. Good morning, happy Easter to everybody. That, who's that from, sorry? Judith, Judith, good morning. At uh, 5.99. Five ninety nine special price early bird special. It's called Swan. It's called Swan. Is that the make? Do you think Swan? Yeah, don't Google Swan because you'll just get lots of pictures of Swan fabric. I mean, fabric with swans on it. Um, it's lovely. It feels gorgeous. I have to say, it's beautiful. Maybe it's meant to feel like a swan's feather because it, it does feel beautiful. Five pounds and 99 pence, I know, I know. Let's all load you on Facebook Live. Let's just do some of these. Brands banking new today, it's a pleasure purchase. Claire says, good morning all, sunny here, but chilly. It's freezing here. Good morning, says Donna. Paula says, good morning. Pauline says, good morning. Uh, Pauline says, we eat ours today. Mary Jane says, good evening from New Zealand. I'm addicted to this show. Happy Easter, everybody. Oh, Mary Jane, welcome, 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 welcome. Judith, good morning. Happy Easter. Laurie, happy Easter. John and the Q. Uh, uh, um, Laurie's written, Harvey, a great day. I think she means have a great day. Samantha says, we have no eggs. I forgot it was Easter. And now I can't get a delivery slot till Tuesday. Well, there'll be a lot. Well, now you're saying, now, Samantha, you're saying... They're going to be cheaper. Janice went to buy some yesterday. There were none in the shops. No. In fact, normally you go into the shops like the week before you and they have those huge mountains of like the Smarties, the but Didn't have them this year. No, no. Right. Um, Trudy says, morning has broken and street and sewing streets on. Uh, Trudy, your spelling this morning is dreadful. Hello, John and crew. Looking dashing as ever. No, no, that wasn't my very vocals. It was her spelling. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you? The fabric is called Swan. Stuff fabrics. Oh, stuff fabrics. Oh, we gave it the name Ivory. They don't call it Ivory. We've called it Ivory. Uh, I, I, I think basically... No, it's not Ivory. It's not ivory, it's latte, I'd call it. What are you saying, Hannah? No. Anyway, moving on. And uh, don't, don't, don't bring me to shot. Look at this. Yeah, but I need to wipe it. I need the... Um, Hannah's just passed me some. I'm just getting the wipes to wipe it down. You put it on the table and I'll wipe it down. Don't use your blouse. That, that's, that's not anti sanitizery what is it? Yeah. No, no, she's all nice and tidy because her mum, her mum's... 
Her mum's coming for a picnic in the garden today. So Hannah's like terrified she's going to look through the window and see how messy her house was. So she's been houseworking since four o'clock this morning. These are, these are sanitizer wipes. I'm just wiping what's coming up now. Oh, you're not supposed to see it yet. Five ninety nine. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry at all, Paul. Oh, Colleen, uh, happy Easter morning, everyone. Enjoy your day. Looking forward to lots of laughs with our John from Colleen in Norfolk. Oh, Colleen, thank you. Oh, Pat. Pat's noticed. The June Taylor cutting Mac is back. In, what's it say? Instead of an Easter egg. Oh, yeah, now, now. Who was it, Pat? Lovely strong name. Oh, that's Pamela, isn't it? There's only six. I've only got six. We think there's more coming, but at the moment we've only got six. So if you want it, buy it on pre-order. Treat yourself to that Easter egg today, right now, because they'll, they'll have gone by the end of today. Oh, loads of happy Easter's coming through. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here you go. Uh, good morning, John. Looking forward to all the goodies you have up your sleeve for Easter Sunday. Nothing. Anyway, uh, uh, if I don't read all your messages out on the white boxes, I do apologise. What happens is, when you get more than 10, the bottom one drops off and we can't get it back, sort of thing. And so many have just come flooding in. Hannah's like, oh, no, they're falling off the bottom. No, no. No. Uh, no, don't say that mum will be livid. Yeah, well, yes, she will. No Easter eggs left in the shops in Barnsley. Good morning, John and crew from Ema. Patricia says, um, morning, John. Happy Easter. Sunny but frosty. Yeah, yeah, we had to scrape our cars this morning. Um, Lynn Tewitt says, good morning. Uh, Carol says, morning, John and crew. Happy Easter, everyone. Had my second vaccine yesterday. Oh, brilliant, Carol. That, I don't know when my next one is. What you want, do you want to say, Hannah? Yeah, while you're checking out of that, there is a comp, don't put the slide up yet, Paul. Where we have got a competition, right? Now, you can't enter it today. You can only enter it tomorrow because over the four days, there's a, somewhere on the set, there is an egg cover. It, well, it's, it's, hang on. It's, it's the one that's come out of this box. You don't, you don't win that one. You don't win that one, right? But the gold colour covered egg is somewhere on the set. So on Friday, it was somewhere. Yesterday, it was somewhere. Now, where I don't know where it is. Oh, wrong way. I don't know where it is today. It's not there. Don't know where it is today. Right? Don't know where it is. Right. But, so what you have to do is on Monday, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Yeah, tomorrow, Monday, you have to email in saying, on Friday it was here, on Saturday it was there, on Sunday it was there, and on Monday it was there. Then on Tuesday, at midday, on Tuesday, I'll announce who's won this. I know! I would love this. Look, look. Look, look, look. There are a hundred pieces of fabric here, and they're all half a metre each. Hang on, let Paul come in on it. The e competition is so easy. Look, 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 look. Half a metre of a hundred different fabrics. Little Paul's really, really shocked. I'm not surprised. Look, I'm still going. There are a hundred different fabrics and it's half a metre of each. All 100% cotton, all quilting weight. I know, isn't it fantastic? So one of you will win this and I will be announcing on Tuesday at midday who has won it, right? So all you have to do is tomorrow... Don't do it today, because you can't do it today. Tomorrow you have to email in, and email only. You have to email in, the egg was here on Friday, here on Saturday, here on Sunday, here on Monday. So where is it today again? I can't remember where it is today. Is it on set one? Is it on set two? Slide, here you go. There you go. I know, they didn't even unpack it. Yep. Keep checking out now. Keep checking out. Uh, right. So Jill says, good morning, John Frosty. Start here in Melton Mowbray. Looking forward to a garden Easter egg hunt this afternoon with my grandsons. Margaret's there. Morning, Han, John, Hannah and Paul. Happy Easter. <laughs> Hannah, don't let them put you off eating your chocolate today. She's already started. I bought her one of those... Um, 
lint rabbit, right? The rabbit has no ears and half a head already. Oh, it's got even less now, has it? And then I heard her say, I th did I get you a dark chocolate one? I heard her say, she said, I, I heard her say to Paul, oh, I can't really eat dark chocolate. She forgets I've got this on. All in one go. I can't eat dark chocolate all in one go. So if it had been milk chocolate, she'd have eaten it all in one go. Right, before I do the menu, I need to do this because it's back in stock. You only get one, obviously. Best press now, if Wendy Orlando's watching, Wendy Orlando, oh, blimey. When you give me a bottle full of liquid, could you make sure the top's on, Hannah? This top was completely unscrewed. That. Yeah, Wendy Orlando had this last. She did that on purpose. She booby-trapped it. 11.99, it's the Mary Ellen Best Press Lavender. Oh, lavender and vanilla mix, is it? Oh, I say. Nice, I'm not going to spray it. Very popular, it came back into stock, it sold out when Orlando bought most of it, and now it's back in stock again. Oh, got good stock, good stock. Ellen says, happy Easter, John and team. Just ordered the early bird, brill for my patchwork. Jackie says, morning, John, Hannah and Paul. Lovely and su sunny in Great Sutton. Got an egg hunt in my garden with my granddaughters later. Oh, nice, nice. 11.99, this is back in stock. What's the matter? I thought so. Yeah. Oh, oh, should we go back? Let's go back. We've just had a message from management. It's Easter Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. You know my early bird, which we all thought was a brilliant price at 5 99 and you thought it was a brilliant price. What's happened then? Right, so now anything could happen now. Anything could happen now. If you've already bought it, you will pay the final price. Easter treats all day. We've got loads of Easter treats. They're not... Oh. No, won't let me do it. So, ha oh, Hayley, what are we going to do? Right, Hayley's going to sort that. We'll come back to the early bird later. But the, there is a lower price. There is a lower price. And we'll come back to that later. Hayley's going to sort that one. No. Right, okay, we can't amend this price on screen here. You will be charged two ninety nine for half a meal. I thought when I was doing it, I said to Hannah, is that right? Is that price right? But it is on our sheets. It wasn't our sheets. Right, Haley's just mentioned we can do it for two ninety nine. £2.99 pence for half a metre. I know, I know, I know. We can't amend the price on screen. So you will be charged two nine times. What I'll do is I'll get Haley to change it during the day so we can replay it again later. Okay, but you'll you will be paying two the trouble is, right, you'll be paying two ninety nine. It will say does it say five ninety nine still on the on the website as well? Uh, it says five ninety nine. You will be paying two ninety nine for half a meter. So congratulations if you're one of the many people who've got it already. Um, but we will, we will, what I'll do is I'll come back to it later when it's sorted out. I promise. Oh, won't it? Yeah, but. Okay, well, I'm going to keep coming back to it. We might not be able to change the graphics, but I'll keep coming back to it. Because people will come into the website later, because obviously people are having a lie in as well today. And they won't know. They won't know. So I will keep coming back to that later. I will keep coming back to that. Right, should we go to the menu? Right, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. What's the matter, little Paul? Oh, little Paul's in, by the way, everyone. Little Paul is in. Hang on, he's just giving me two seconds then. No, no, this isn't Yarn Lane Studio. We only had to come in so Street. On the Yarn Lane days, we have to, as soon as we finish, as soon as we finish on so Street, we have to get in the cars. I don't know how Anna gets there. She must get an Uber. Because we're not allowed to share cars, obviously. We whiz over to the Yarn Lane studio. Have you found where the egg is yet today? Oh, hang on, I can't point. Have you seen where it is today? I'm not supposed to tell you, it's a surprise. I'll get told off. Oh, hang on, more messages. Morning, John and gang. A joyous paquet. Bit of French for you there. Oh, thank you. 
We learned how to say it in Welsh yesterday as well, didn't we? Right, have you done it then, Paul? Oh, hang on, this is taking longer than I thought, isn't it? The thing is, on, hang on, why is it now saying available now on there? Okay. That shows that we got 224 to, that was still for both. There's a lot of stock, about 299. The thing that worries me is you're going to go to the website and you're going to see 599. You might not realise what a brilliant bargain it is. Oh, okay. That's not what stock is available now. That's what we started with. That's what we started with. Yeah. Okay, right. We're moving on. Let's have a look at the menu. We'll come back to it later, I promise. We promise, promise, promise. Oh, hang on. Menu. Menu, here we go. Easter Sunday treats coming up in the first hour. Uh, now, Haley's Haley's done this first hour, and she has done so many gorgeous treats. She's done bundles at special prices. She's done uh, all sorts. Of, oh, she, uh, we've got storage boxes. Amazing price, I can't tell you. That's coming up in this first hour. Um, then we've got Hedro Cushion with Janice Hobbs. Now, uh, have a look at the cushion. We don't need to see hundreds of pictures of it. It's just that one there. It's lovely. It's a panel we have in three different colourways. Now, Janice has embroidered hers. I know, I know. It's lovely, isn't it? Then, uh, that's the, so that's nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got Easter Sunday Spring Show. That's why I've got lots of beautiful fabrics for you. 11 o'clock, storage. Well, oh, yes, now, now, now. We've got the, uh, the pods with Janice Hobbs, designed by Beth Studley. So there's a big one and a small one. They are separate patterns, right? So you can buy them individually, but also we've got bundles, but... Oh, now can you buy them individually? And you can buy them as a bundle, Easter bundle. So that's the tall pod and the little pod. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got more Easter cheats for you. There are three ways you can get in touch. There are three ways you can get in touch. You can send us an email, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Now, that's when you um, send a message in and Hannah reads it to me down my earpiece. You can uh, go to Facebook Live, which is where I've been reading the messages out on my screen. That one's there. Let's see if there's any more just come in before I tell you. I'm right up against the thingy. Uh, Christine says, good morning, John. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, also, now, if you go to the website... Website, go www.sainstreet.com. You click on watch the show live. Well, now I was going to say, I've got it here, I've got it here. I'll show you in a minute then. But uh, Right, scroll down, scroll down. There's the message. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, not scroll down. There's the message, there's the message. Write your message in there. They're the ones that come up in the white box at the bottom of the screen. Um, and if too many arrive at once, right. Then, if you want to have a look down, right, so there's the early bird. It's two ninety nine, not five ninety nine. It's two ninety nine. Then, of course, there's the best press. They are absolutely flying out as well. Now, can I tell you, we had six of these when we started the show this morning. This you won't get this one. This is our dirty one. Yours won't come with marks, and yours will come. Cut. We think more are coming in, and they're in the process of being booked in. But at the moment, there were there were six this morning. Right, there's two left. If you want this, there's two left. Now, where do they find that on pre-order? Right? So what you do is you go back to the website. Oh, it's sold. It's sold out. Okay, so these are all the goodies from the 8 o'clock hour. Look at, look, see, look at the special deals we've got on those. Look at the special deals we've got on those um, storage there. Uh, friction pens, lighting box, light box, everything. Then we've got Janice's first hour there which are the pat panels there. They're the panels to make cushions out of. Then I'm back into, uh, there's, oh, now that you can buy the panels individually or you can buy all three of them if you want to, if you want three cushions. Then, of course, we've got all your beautiful fabrics. Look at those. We love the Marisol. Now we're, oh, now is that one still available? Because we had that Marisol one yesterday and I thought it sold out yesterday. Look at the sunflowers. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Oh, what's that one? Oh, that's gorgeous. I've never seen that one before. What's this? Come on, hang on. keep going, keep going. What's, no, keep going down. What's that on the left there? Early bird. Early bird. I'm having another early bird today because it's Easter. Right, scrolling down. Look, a, a jelly roll, books or design roll. Little buttons. They're Haley's favourite, those buttons. She loves them. Oh, and we've got the ladybird buttons back in. We, they sold out the other day. A ribbon. We could have done with that yesterday, couldn't we? Then look at this fabric. I want shirts made out of each of those ginghams. They're beautiful, aren't they? 
Oh no, that's the one I wanted. Sold out already. Sold out already. That's how busy it is at the moment. Uh, then, right now, you see all of these. Yeah, if you like living in loveness, watch a bit later. And also Yvonne's kits, right? So that's going to be interesting. How lovely, okay, living in loveliness there. Keep going, keep going. There, now there's the pods. So you can buy the pod, the pattern for the little round ones. You can buy the pattern for the deeper ones, which Beth Dudley keeps her little cat in, right? That, but then hang on, where's the, there's a bundle of them. Let's have, let's have a look, keep going. There, look, there's your bundle of them. New fabrics, new fabrics coming up for spring in the 12th. There's so much, isn't there? There's so much. Oh, they're nice. they dandelions. Oh, bumbleberries. Now, now I launch, well, I can't say that, but I launched those somewhere else. They're beautiful. Bumble bumbleberries come in the most incredible colours. Anyway, should we get on? Should we get on? So I've done how to get in touch. I've done everything. The early bird is $2.99, not $5.99. 2 99 it's not, well, no, it was on our sheet for five nine times. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, hang on, let me just do a couple of messages and then I'll carry on. Uh, oh, no, I haven't got any more, sorry. Right, where am I starting? Where am I starting? Where am I starting? At the very beginning, a very good place to start. Oh, let's do the fabric bundles. Even though I've got the notions in front of me, I'll do the fabric bundles. Right, these are, uh, you, which I've got two yellow ones. Yellow psychedelic or yellow, yellow splodge. Hannah. Okay, right, here we go. These are bundles that Haley's, oh, no, I've never seen this before. These are already pre-cut into two and a half metre bundles. This has never been on in a bundle before. It's called Quilter's Cord. Now, you see, I can see the screen today. Without my, my, I must have been really tired yesterday. Yesterday and the day before, I was having trouble. Uh, well, oh, when I was at Jewelry Maker. Did I tell you I was on Jewelry Maker? Um, I loved it on Jewelry Maker. Wayne's doing me a diamond show. I know. It's on Jewelry Maker. You must join me. I'll let you know. Anyway, 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 anyway. Look, um, two and a half metres. I couldn't read the graphics. I can read them today. 60.95. What's the matter, Paul? It's obviously because you're here, Paul, yeah. Everyone was just, yesterday, they all thought you were here yesterday, Paul, because I'd mentioned you, I'd mentioned your name, and they were like, oh, we forgot, Paul, oh, Paul, hello, Paul, hello, Paul. I went, no, 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 because I always talk about you, Paul. Paul, you, oh, Hannah's in, Hannah's in producing mode. There are less than 20 of these bundles now, two and a half metres of this. Two and a half metres, 16.95. I love these. Um, uh, uh, no, no, but look at look at that. Come in, come in, come in. Just have a look at them. It goes out of focus when it comes in, but bring it down and it'll come back into focus. You watch. But it's kind of like, from a distance, it just like it blends into the colours. Look, it's got little spots. Okay, it will go out of focus in a minute. Look. Sixteen ninety five. Sixteen pounds and ninety five pence. I love that one. Look, quilters, quilters coordinates. Brilliant. Brilliant. Two and a half meters. Special, special deals that, that Haley's put together for you. Right. Single figures. Single figures already. Single figures already. Next. Next. My words aren't working, are they? Next. Oh, we've got it in black as well. Look. We've got... Oh, now the, 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 compute, the computer... What's that called? Camera. Might not like this. Oh, look. Yeah, two and a half metres is five units, isn't it? So, oh, 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 hang on, three pounds something a unit. Three thirty-nine and a half metre, it works out at. 
It's normal width. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable. How much did we just say? Three, 339 and a half metre. Do you know what I'd do? I'd buy this and make those pyjamas from yesterday. Oh, well, that's what I'd do. It's nice, isn't it? I love it. I know we're calling it, it's called a quilter's coordinate, but you could use that for dressmaking as well. Look, just we move out so you can see what it's going to look like. When you arrive at the party wearing a skirt made of this, this is what people will see in a minute. Yours won't go out to focus like our cameras will. Right, can we, show, uh, can we show it after we've done this? We, can we show it? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 16.95. Fewer than 20. But then, I thought fewer than 20, the yellow one's halfway through, weren't they? And then we're down to single figures on the yellow one. Brilliant. 100% cotton, two and a half metres, big enough to back, do the back of a quilt. But I think that would look lovely in um, dressmaking or something like that. Right, before I go to my next bundle... I just want to show you something on the internet again, on the web, on t web, on the internet. I'm so old fashioned, aren't I? Right, watch, you ready? Remember the early bird, go to the website. Go to the website. Right, we're gonna put the graphics in, see what happens. Right, now the graphics haven't changed, but look, go down. Oh, hang on, hang on, we have to wait, just wait a second. Oh, there you go, on the website, right? On the website, it's now saying 2.99. No, you see, since I mentioned it, it's gone to 2.99. There were 204, 224 there were. I've got nine left, nine left at 2.99. I'm not surprised. That's going to sell out in a minute then. So it's 2.99 for half a metre. There were 224 when last time we looked, and now there's nine. Thank you for everyone for letting us know it's been updated. It hasn't been there, but we won't need to show the graphics again because it's going to sell out on the internet. Right, next, back to my bundles. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the yellow fabric is, is made, the company who made it said it's a quilter's companion or whatever, didn't they? No, that wasn't the right word. Quilter's coordinate, quilter's coordinate, right? So yes, it's perfect for quilting, perfect for dressmaking, just a skirt, a summer skirt. Do you know what? Do you know what I said to Hayley yesterday? You know the oranges and lemons fabric we had yesterday? Would you like to see like a little pair of summer trousers or a little summer skirt and a little blouse made out of them? You don't have to wear them all at the same time, but wouldn't that be lovely? And, and Anna still wants a lemon jumpsuit out of it. Yeah. Okay, where am I going next? Yep, grey flowers. Now this has got a mottled background. The whole day, Paul. Here we go, again, 16.95 for two and a half metres. I think my, um, uh, yeah, this thing, what's this thing I read here? The Facebook Live, it's stopped, the messages have stopped. What was the last one you had? Oh, okay. Morning, lovely John and team. Happy Easter to you all. Thank you, Diane. I th oh, no, and, and, and Tina. Happy Easter, John. I've eaten half a chocolate egg already and now I feel ill. I don't know how Hannah does it. Do you know what? Lots of practice. Lots of practice because she eats so much chocolate every morning. She says she's got a lot of time alone, had a lot of time alone and a lot of emotions to cope with. Look! Marcia's in now. Hello, Marcia. Good morning, John, Hannah and Paul, the dream team. Feliz, oh, here we go. Feliz Pasco Pascoa. Oh, that's lovely, Marcia. Uh, a 16.95 works out to £3.30 for half a metre. Incredible. Again, it's 100% cotton. Machine washable, 44 inches wide. This, again, is a quilter's coordinate. Grey flowers, it's already cut into two. Now, if you buy two, you don't get five metres joined together. You'll get two bundles of two and a half metres. Look at the mottled background. That's what's lovely about this. Oh, camera's gone blurred again. Three, two, one. There you go. My magic touch, you see. 16.95. Beautiful. I love the little sprigs of flowers on it. 
12 of those left. These are all going to go. I need to warn you, these will all go today. These will all go today. It's only half past eight, and already that's down to 12, that one. Message from Elizabeth on my bottom. Happy Easter to John and team. Your shirt has got you off to a flying start. How can you see from there what it is? Hope you have an e excellent day. Love from Cumbernauld in Scotland. Is Cumbernauld in Scotland? I didn't know Cumbernauld was in Scotland. Anyway, Elizabeth, oh yeah, it's close too, look. Beautiful, isn't it? Flying in for this, flying in for this. You see, I, I had to, I've got, it's, it's one of my fat shirts. I had to put a fat shirt on, so. Yes, they do. Yeah, Philip Schofield's mum did it on her 80th birthday. Yeah. Hannah, Hannah's saying, are there people on the wings of this? No, she was talking about wing walking. Nobody does wing walking anymore. Yes, you can still do it, Hannah. In fact, you can go to Oxford to do it. Would you like that for your birthday? You'd be terrified, but it'd be amazing. I'd love to do it. I'd love to, because you feel safe, because you're strapped in. You're not just loose holding onto a piece of string. Like you're actually strapped in properly. But when they did the loop-de-loop, -loop, imagine when they do loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, oh, I'd love it, because I love jumping out of an aeroplane, didn't I? Anyway, next, 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 next. Yeah, I like this one. This is lovely. This on the back of a quilt would be beautiful. But again, be beautiful as a shirt, be beautiful as a skirt. £3.30 for half a metre, that works out at. Uh, very Eastery, said Paul. It's spring-like, not Eastery, spring-like, Paul. All these fabrics are the same width. They're all 44 inches wide, machine washable. Look, there you go. That's you know, your width. They're pre-cut into two... That, well, that's not even the whole thing. Hang on. Look. There you go. So this is what you're getting for your money. Look, two and a half metres... 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. That's beautiful. Could you just go close up on, on the, what's on the monitor, Paul? On the, on the, there, look, 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 look. No, no, that was, that was, I was just wanted to show how the beautiful colours all blended. I love it. This is my, I have to say this is one of my favourites. Now I've got to fold this. The what, what? Teddy bears, Hannah's saying. There'd be an awful lot of teddy bears, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, well, you could do memory bears, you could do charity bears, you could do whatever with that, yeah? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> oh, don't. You know, we had, you know, we had that lovely Bobby on last week who's doing the hats, the millinery. And we thought, oh, we'll get some heads to put the hats on and everything. We haven't got any here, so Hayley arranged for some to come over from Jewelry Maker. It's our sister channel. Anyway, they arrived and they were not the, you know, like they were beautiful hats. I didn't really want to put them on those polystyrene heads. So I took them back because I was in Jewelry Maker at the weekend. Anyway, I've got everything out the car. I've got my bag out the car, my makeup out the car. I've got my satchel out the car, my mask on, my visor on. And then I had to take the heads out of the, so I put the heads in the cardboard box on the top of the car like that, doing what I was doing. Then a gust of wind came from nowhere and blew all these polystyrene heads all over the jewelry maker car park. And there's a big lake next to the car park. I was like, oh no, that's the last thing I need. And then all I needed was somebody to look out the window at that time to see me struggling with my bags and my polystyrene heads. Right, where are we going next? Yeah, which colour? Yellow psychedelic. This looks like the outside of Selfridges in Birmingham, says Hannah. Sixteen ninety-five. this is. Very, very popular. Now, can I just explain? I do have this in three colourways. Look, I have three in the three different colourways, just so you know. I've never seen the dark one before. Uh, the yellow and the green have always sold out when I've had them in the past. But here, this isn't that lovely? I think teenager's quilt, maybe. A oh, yeah, a oh, can you imagine making, um, what are they called? Um, draft excluders. Like a snake across the bottom of your door. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Oh. Oh, here we go. Got a FIFO review. Uh, 
Unusual and will make a great backing for a giraffe applique cushions. Oh, now. Paul says you're having a giraffe. Oh, oh, just from a crafter it was. Didn't have a name on it. Now again, look at the price. That does not sell for £3.30 for half a metre, does it? Isn't it normally a six fifty? Oh, is it half price? Is it half price? Wow. Oh, Hannah's saying confetti quilting would be good. Meh. Yeah, because Delphine uses um, batik, doesn't she? So, yeah. Right, so which one should I do next then? The aqua. Paul's very chirpy today, isn't he? I'm not complaining, Paul. I'm just saying he's been singing, he's been dancing. Under the sea quilt, yeah, aquarium quilts. Don't know what one of those is, but you know. Look. Sixteen ninety five again for two and a half meters of fabric. Fantastic price point, not ridiculous, but fantastic. Fiona says, morning, John, Hannah and Paul. Happy Easter. Tracy says, happy Easter, everyone. Another Tracy says, oh, no, same Tracy. Rookie question. When you're cutting a pattern out, how do you fold the fabric face to face or back to back? Right. I was always trained when I'm cutting out um, a pattern, a clothes pattern, I always do, if I was making a dress out of this, right, I would fold it like this, right sides to right sides. Right, then I put it out on my table like this. And then I place my pattern on here. Then you can do any markings you need to do, any notches. You write them on this side and on that side, so they're on the wrong side of the fabric. But you always fold the fabric in half, because like, un like, unlike Hannah, who made a pair of trousers, didn't do that, cut out two left legs, you see? So if you do this way, it no you know you definitely get one facing one way and one facing the other way. That's the wrong side you're seeing there, by the way. This is the right side, look. Uh, Sue, good morning to a great team. Now, Hannah, that psychedelic fabric would make a lovely jumpsuit. You'll look like a lizard. Sue, right, uh, now, I could say something really, really, really awful, but I'm not going to. It's Easter. <laughs> no, I can't. No, no, because I've already upset Hannah once this week. I've already really upset Hannah once this week, and... I Oh, I can't tell Paul, it was awful. I cringed the minute it fell out of my mouth. I knew I shouldn't have said it. It what? No, I, I was really, really, I, I shouldn't have, I, it was a horrible thing to say. And we were, we were bantering outside, right? And it was just like, she said something horrible to me, so I said something horrible about But then I thought, oh, that wasn't nice, that wasn't nice. And I felt so bad, I felt, so then I got home and I had to text her about something else to make sure she was all right and everything. Yeah, Helen, hidden, right, hidden. It, it's not on set one, it's not set one. Is it on set two? Can you see it though? Is it there though? Can you zoom in? We're not allowed to do this because it's a competition. Where is it? Oh, hang on, the camera, I've just seen it. It's like a big brother camera just turned around. It's moving across the set. Okay, we're gonna do a pan au chocolat. Right, this is set two. Can you see it on set two? There's Cherry and Sapphire. There's Delphine's lovely paintings. There's the pods that Janice is doing. Keep going, keep going across. See, did you see it? Did you see it? So if you don't know what that's about, right, there's a competition. You need, on tomorrow, you can't enter it till tomorrow. Tomorrow you have to write, where was it on Friday? Where was, where was it on Saturday? Where was it on Sunday and where, I, oh, I'm not in tomorrow. I can't help you tomorrow. But then tomorrow you can email in and tell us the four different locations. And then at midday on Tuesday, I will read, oh, is the, I've got Yarn Lane on Tuesday. We have no, no, no. So at midday on Tuesday, I'll be telling you who's won that great big bundle of fabrics. I want it. I want that bundle. There are a hundred, there are a hundred different fabrics and they're all hard. Little Paul can't get over it. I get your mum to enter, little Paul. Imagine what she'd do with all that fabric. She's allowed to. Your mum's allowed to. You can't tell her. You can't. And you can't tell her where they are. Anyway, I better move on. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
Oh, pfft. Blind wall. She can enter for me then. She can't. Just say so you no, know, she can't. That, now, I know I haven't folded that up properly, but we've got to get on. <laughs> Here's the... Now, is it called grey? Oh, oh, that... I've not seen this one before. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, so... So she didn't think it was horrible. No, 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 Sue. So she didn't think it was horrible at all. What I was about to say was if she makes a jumpsuit out. No, I can't even say it. Now, I'm thinking of the life in the zoo. I'm thinking of life in the zoo, that's all. No, you went to kimono, Jack. They're not called kimono, are they? Kimono. <laughs> look, imagine a dragon in a kimono. Oh, look at me, look at me. No, it just might just look like she's just eaten something. You know what I mean? Oh, little Paul's going to make a dinosaur costume out of this. Imagine him walking down the high street in it. I think this is lovely. Oh, Maureen says, stop giving it away, John. It's a competition. Maureen, there's tomorrow. I'm not here tomorrow, so I can't give it away tomorrow. Uh, Susie Duncan's watching, everyone. Susie says, more. everyone's saying hello, Susie. Morning, John. Happy Easter and all. Happy Easter. Um, I'll have some of this in aqua to back a sil... It's... Oh, it's Slytherin. It's not spelt Slytherin, Paul. It's spelt Slytherin. Ma oh, Marina's in. Now, Marina has sold a big old Jeep, right? And she's bought herself a bright red Porsche. I uh, know. She's wanted one since she was nine years old. And she said to her husband, look, we never use that old pile or whatever. So they, so they sold his Jeep and bought her a, a Porsche. She picked it up yesterday. Derek says, good morning, Paul, Hannah and John. Love that fabric. You always get top billing with Derek, Paul. Tracy says, super, thank you. Or oh, what did we answer for Tracy? Oh, about the cutting as the fabric, that's right. Anyway, I love this. And the price, that's two and a half metres you're paying there. Oh, hang on, I can't, don't know where to point. There you go. Two and a half metres, that is. Hannah's thinking binding. A border would be nice. Out of this. Oh, now we haven't got the psychedelic pink here, but um, morning, lovely team. Oh, hang on, we haven't got it yet. It's coming up now. Here it is. Morning, lovely jo lovely team. Oh, hang on, let me start again. Morning, lovely team. This is a triangular scarf I made with the psychedelic fabric. Happy Easter from Gillian. Yeah, no, it's nice, isn't it? Because it's quite, it looks subtle when it's like that. No, nice. I love the way you've styled it with a lovely pink jumper as well. What, what's behind? I can't see what's behind. It's a door. Okay, right. Nothing to see. Nothing to see here. Move on. Right, the grey one's about to sell out, everyone. Big hearts. This is called Christmas Wonders, this one. Two and a half metres. Oh, it's about... Oh, you love this. You love this. Well, I'm not surprised at 16.95. Um, again, it's quilting weight fabric. I, I, it says that Christmas wonders, but actually it's, there's nothing Christmassy about it. It could be any time of year, couldn't it? Because it's hearts. Beautiful hearts. 16.95. Right, more people got that in their baskets than we have stock. Right, now I've got like confetti ones. They're like baby triangles. I'm going to show you the three colourways to start with, Chris, in case so you can make up your mind. Right, okay, so there are the three different colourways. Little Paul thinks it's like his colourblind testness. Testness? Colourblindness test. Right, which one first? Yeah, of course we can, that one, yeah. Multi-brown, we call this one. Again, you get two and a half metres. This is printed in Japan, 100% cotton. It's lovely, isn't it? Again, sixteen ninety five, three pound thirty a half meter. That works out at. Morning, John. Happy Easter to all. Getting ready to go out again. Weather is stunning, says Lo. Uh, Paul, Pauline says I bought the yellow static clouds one. So summery, beautiful. This is lovely. I mean, they've not described it very nice, have they? Multi brown. It's much more than that. Yeah. 
The yellow clouds are sold out. The back clouds is about to sell out. The grey, we next was grey flowers. Single figures on the grey flowers. The beautiful pastel stripes. Four of those left at uh, quarter to nine. The grey psychedelic is the most popular one of those. Hearts are sold out. And now we've got the, the multi-brown. Georgina says, morning, John, Hannah and Paul. Lots of bargains today. I know. Oh, look, yeah, Maureen says, Ishi, Ishihara is the colour blindness test. Is that what it's called? Ishihara. I'm going to move on. Uh, message on the bottom of the jail. Morning, all. This is dangerous today. I keep adding to my order. Missed the early bird, though. Is it all gone now? The early bird all gone now. Must have done. Must have done. Right. Which one do you want next then, Hannah? They both got blue in. Uh, what's the number? Yeah, that's this one. We've called this one blue. No, no, the other one's got blue in it, but it's got like a pinky background, that's all. It is like a mosaic, Paul. Happy Easter to the A-team, says Debbie and Steve in Coles Hill. Oh, that's it. Paul was singing the 18 music. See what I mean about it? He's very chirpy today. He's not. You're not too much, Paul. Hannah's just been in for too many days in a row, that's all. <laughs> Six, have another bite of chocolate, Hannah. That'll get you going. 100% cotton. She's very focused today. Yeah, should. 1695. Half the stock's gone. Half the stock's gone. Last one. Last one now. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the colours in here. So, what we call this multi purple. Okay, I got that. Got it. Sixteen ninety-five, half a meter. Hannah will make bunting out of hers. Oh, low singing it along with you, little Paul. No, Hannah's told him he's not told him he's not allowed to sing. He's too much today. Well, it is Easter Sunday. It's because he ate his egg on f the day before yesterday. He's got another one now. He's got a he's got a big lint rabbit now to eat. Oh, yes, Dave. And you read the, um, the, the um, lint rabbits are really, really heavy. Paul thought it was filled with something. I said, it's not, it's just the chocolate. Hmm? Single figures on that one now. That's, well, yeah, they're all the fabric bundles I've got. I've got fat quarters coming up in a minute as well. What do you want to do next? We've got loads to cram, I've only got five minutes. We've got loads to cram in. Cram in. <laughs> Storage boxes, right, let me show you the three different sizes I've got. The which one? Right, okay, look, I've got all of these coming up. They're all bundled for you. There's these, there's these, and there's the thread ones here. Right, let me move those out of the way. Now, you get two. That one's still in its bag, right? You're going to save. Oh, there it is. You're saving £14. So one of them's almost free. Hang on, I can't get this one out. Oh, there we go. Look. They're, they're, first of all, they, they've got lids and bottoms. They fit together nicely. Can you go, can you go oh, either there? Oh, I've only got five of this bundle left. Right, so the elastic comes off like that. Let me show you. 
instead of tape there. No, there you go. Now, inside there are uh, compartments. You can't move these, they're solid, but for threads, for keeping your quick unpicks, your little awls, all sorts of things like that in, you're getting two for 15.98 and you're saving 14 pounds. Three left. That's, that's incredible. What's happening? You're unscrewing something. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it was just, um, it sounded like you were going like, on the microphone then. Okay, next. These are called medium boxes, these. Right, how much should we get off these then? Six pounds off this, 9.98 for two of these. These are, look. Now they say don't store food in them, but you can store food like wrapped sweets. You can put wrapped sweets in there and things like that. But don't, don't put, um, you know, like pasta or anything like that in it. 9.98 for two, for two. 9 pounds and 98 pence, you're saving six pounds. Now again, let me just put the elastic back on there. Right, look. They fit together. The, 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 on the bottom, there's like little corner sections and on the top there, it just fits in nicely like that, look. So you can stack them. Uh, Hannah's gonna put hexy papers and covered hexes in hers. 9.98, she gets, you should get another set, Hannah, and they could put the fabrics in one and things like that, needles in the other. And your 9.98. You're saving six pounds on those two. Uh, Margaret says, have you eaten your egg already? Uh, Paul's eaten his egg already and he hasn't started his rabbit. Hannah's eaten everything and she's nearly finished her rabbit. Um, okay, previously this was sold one for $7.99. But this one, this is a deal where you can save six pounds for, and you get 9.98. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. Next one, let me just put that back. These are so cute, these. Oh. Again, you get two. Look, aren't they cute? Uh, I saving six pounds on these as well. So two, you get two for seven pounds and 98 pence. What would you put in that one? What they put in there? They put their tape measure, their thimbles, some buttons. Oh, yeah, but they're coming up later, the buttons. Not in this hour. I can't put buttons in this hour. Taylor's chalk. Quilter's tape. Oh, do you know what else you could use? If you've got... Um, oh, sewing machine feet, yeah. If you're not lucky enough to have a safety pin, um, one, you know, if you just buy them in a bag or whatever. See, perfect. Yeah, I'll put them in the right. I don't know what that is. Brilliant. How much? Saving six pounds. Seven ninety eight, you're saving six pounds. Saving six pounds. Yeah, but um That'd be 30, 14 pounds. Yeah. Right, okay, moving on. Moving on. Right, where's next? Where's next? We've only got a couple of minutes. Okay, we're going to carry on with that, with all these fantastic bargains till we've worked our way through the table. So Janice might be a little bit late, but don't worry, you'll still get all... Butterfly Fat Quarters. Uh, 
Four fat quarters for twelve ninety nine, saving three pounds. Three pounds. So that makes them. Uh, hang on, you get four, so that's three pound thirty three each. Butterfly ones are slightly bigger because they're from the. Uh, there you go. Look. Because obviously a fat quarter is they take the fabric and they cut it in half that way and in half that way. If the fabric's 60 inches wide, 55 inches wide, you get a bigger fat quarter. Look, there you go, you see. Oh, sorry, there you get that much extra of the butterfly fabric. So 12 99 you get the blue butterfly. The, um, what colour would you call that? Is it coral or is it burnt sienna? Then you've got the, the dot. Now, th I have to well, th not warn you, but tell you, this is a soft cotton canvas, and then these, again, are your Rose and Hubble fabrics there. I love that one. Like a raspberry spot, that one. Gerardine's awake. Hello, happy Easter, John and team. Sorry I'm late. It's my 35th wedding anniversary today. Oh, Gerardine, buy a ruler to celebrate. I don't think I've got any rulers on the show today, actually, have I? No, I've got any rulers on the show today. Um, Margaret says, Congra oh, congratulations to Gerardine. And Kath says, happy Easter, John and team. Just back from a walk in sunny Chandler's Ford. Oh, is it beautiful? No. And I've got a fat quarter button. Now, I think this might have been made for a project. This next fat quarter bundle. I know. Right, so I'll put that there. Right, so you get a green one, you get a yellow one, and you get a pale blue one. Okay, £3.49. So they work out at £1.12p each or something like that, don't they? No, a bit more than that. But one but they're just over a pound each. You get three for two. So hang on. When have we done fat quarters at one pound fifty? One one seventy. That makes them one seventy five each. But you get a free one. They're a hundred percent cotton. There are Rose and Hubble. You know our fabric that we sell anyway. Oh well, I might use them together. You daffodils. I might make daffodils out of them. Blue sky, blue sky, green grass, green leaves, yellow flowers. But you get all three of those fat quarters for £3.49. I know. Gerardine said I would, but I bought them all. <laughs> That's the rulers. Beautiful. That's, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. If you've got those in your basket, please check out. Frickshop. Friction pen bundle. Now, I've kept these in the bag because I don't want them to get muddled with those two over there. These are your fine tip friction pens. You get the black, the blue, the red and the green. Now, friction pens are like Marmite, either. I absolutely love... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not right. How much are these on their own? They're £3.49, I think, on their own, aren't they? We'll just, check, we'll just double check now. We'll just double check. So you get a black one, a blue one, a red one, and a green one for £9.96. So that makes them for that £2 each. What? Right, so they're normally £4 each, £3.99. So £16. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you are, sa you are saving your £6 on there. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? So you get black, one and blue. Now these are your fine ones. Beautiful. Oh now these, these are three for two. Oh okay, it's a bit confusing if you're looking on the web because the web only shows one. But you get three for two of these, pay three. Get three, they're all the same marking tool. Oh, hang on, John, come on. But you get three for the price of two. And where are we? Four ninety eight. Four ninety eight. Four pounds and ninety eight pence. You're getting that one for free. So you're paying for those two, and you get that one for free. Or it might be that one you get for free. Or it could be that one. 
but you get three, you pay for two. You buy three, you, no, hang on. You buy two, you get three. Now, what's that man on the advert say? What does, oh, yeah, that's Pat Butcher, isn't it? I'm getting confused. Two forty nine each normally. You're paying four ninety eight for three. Have they? Oh, Susan loves her Frixian pens. And, and next to which one? Next to um. Next to sewing quarter. Apparently, where we used to be in Digbeth, they put a great big picture of Pat Butcher up on the street now. Oh. That's nice. God, I haven't been up there at all. It's funny, I was thinking, I haven't been to Leamington Spa for over a year. No, it's... Well, why would, well, why would I? Because I wasn't allowed to go out, was I? But... Yeah. Okay, so... What next? Right, now, if you get this light box... Now, I'm hoping it's charged up. Oh, no, hang on. I haven't got... Um, a wire with it, so I can't. Oh, hang on, let me turn it around that way. There you go. So this is the Notions one, right? Forty nine ninety nine. Costs you forty nine ninety nine anyway. So you get two free friction pens. It, I'm going to show you it later because it's not plugged in the boat. You get four. There are four different light settings. It's super thin. It's LED lighting. It won't get hot, and it's super portable. When you get it home, it comes in a flat box with corners and a little silicon bag. Keep that and store it in that. That's what I say. It comes with a wire. Hannah wants you to see this now because okay, yeah. What she's saying is, go and have a look at how much light boxes cost elsewhere. We looked at one. Well, I don't know if the one in Argos is still there, but we looked at one in Argos the other day when we had this. So we just go and have a look. Just go and have a look at how much dark light boxes are. We normally have the slides, but they're not here. Okay. Well, we'll talk about it again later on. We'll get some pictures for you for later. Wendy says, morning, enjoying your company. This is Easter morning. Nicholas says, the Easter bunny needs to get up. Or there, hang on. Oh, this, this Easter bunny needs to get up or there'll be years from, tears from the teenagers, not years, tears from the teenagers. Right, next. Because the Easter bunny has to bring the Easter eggs. Easter. Rotary blade bundle. Last one of the hour. This is the last one of the hour. Janice is up after the break. Fourteen ninety-eight. You're saving four pounds. Oh, Jackie's bought the light box. She says just arrived. The other one was only an A4 and cost the same price as this one. There you go. See, she didn't buy it from us. Uh, she bought this one from us. I mean, she didn't buy the little one from us. Right. Uh, Forty-five millimeter rotary blade bundle. You get the, the straight edge and the. Um, like a pink ink, like pink inches. Oh, you get all three of those in there. You get a pink ink, a wavy, and a skip. Sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. Skips is for perforating paper. Hang on, though. Yeah, yeah, you get all three. You get all three. But it's just saying here... Oh, yes, yes. So we get pinking, skip and wave, but you can also buy edge perfect and straight. These are the straight. We don't do edge perfect. Always getting, you always need these spare plates, that's for sure. All for 45 millimeter rotary cutters. Don't try and put these if you've got a, uh, you know, the Fiskars um, guillotine ruler. Do not put the wavy ones in there. Also, don't use those against the side of your ruler either. Only use those for free, free cutting. Right, we're going for a break now. Janice is up after the break. Uh, yes, you make a discussion. We've got three panels exclusive to Sewing Street. Uh, you don't have to embroider yours. She's embroidered hers. Uh, but we will see you right here in three minutes from now. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with her. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. 
I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did just making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page keep up to date with what's on sewing street and yarn lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters for sewing street head on over to www.sewingstreet.com Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
Janice, you've not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at Janice. I'm so terrible. <laughs> Quickly. I'm so busy doing it. I know, I've been out, I've got changed. Came back and I thought, oh, she'll notice in a minute, she'll notice in a minute. And then Paul went, oh, something on camera, we just have to wait a little bit more longer. And it's like, she's going to look, she's going to notice, she hasn't noticed at all. Right, let me just explain. Hello, Janice, first of all, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, Janice, how many years ago was it now you went? Two or three, three yeah? years ago. Yeah, three years ago you went to Canada yeah, to see your family. To Canada, and to this was brother. the present she bought for me I when she was there. I back a shirt. And she said to me, last time we were on together, oh, she went, you never wear that shirt I bought you. And I said, I do, I do. But I've lost a lot of it's weight. I said, I lost so a lot of weight. weight. Here, I've lost a lot of weight and everything. So I made a little film because then Kat told us we were <laughs> going to be on together. So I was going to wear it. And then, and then oh, we weren't on together. So I made a little film for, yes, for it. So did. I thought, do you know, I'll bring it today and I'll wear it on Janice's hours today. So here it is. It and thank looks you. lovely. And it looks better because of the weight loss. It looks lovely. Oh, thank you. It looks thank lovely. you. Your hair, I love your hair. You think it's too dark. <laughs> yeah, it's gone dark. But I am a dark person. I had very dark brown hair. Yeah. Until I went grey. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a dark heart as well. So, uh, you yeah. look lovely and happy thank Easter you. to you. Happy and Easter. thank you for happy our. Easter to you, well, you couldn't get us an Easter egg, could you? No. No. So we've, we've all got <laughs> we've all got uh Terry's chocolate oranges, other chocolate. And he bought me a rabbit. Yeah, and I got her a rabbit, a lint rabbit. Lovely. Not a real rabbit, Paul. <laughs> but having said that, when I was driving in this morning, it's amazing, isn't it? So when we used to drive in like a couple of weeks ago before we put the clocks forward. It was light when we came in. Then obviously it went yeah. dark again. This morning was the first time I saw a bit of light glimmering through. But I came round the roundabout in Ulster and thought, oh, what's that in the road? And it was this little baby bunny. like, a, And it was obviously lost. And I was like, so I swerved. I missed yes. it completely. I watched it run off into the woods. But I just thought, oh, it's all oh. on its own. Where's its mum? Where's its mum? Anyway, anyway, anyway. And Easter. as I drove in, I saw a bird of prey just down the road. Oh, from did here. you? Yeah, just sat on yeah. the grass. Lovely, beautiful yeah. bird. Oh, Janice, you need to come and see my garden because they're all. All in the, the field behind me, they're beautiful, yeah. Lovely. And there's one really old one that sits on a telegraph line. He's been there since I first moved in like nine, Aww. ten years ago, and he just sits there all day, like really grumpy. <laughs> like, don't know where he goes, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, have a look at the cushion. Have a look at the cushion. We have got a panel to make this cushion, right? Now, I've got three different colored panels. Um, you can buy them individually, or you can buy them. Um, in a bundle, right? So I'm going to do the bundle first. So this is one. This is your grey one. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. It's upside down, sorry. That's your grey one there. So what you get is you get the, the cushion front, the cushion back. You get three spare squares plus a little bit of extra down here. So that's grey. This one here is lilac or lavender. There's no instructions or anything with them. They're just the panels. It's a creative bundle, isn't it? So there you've got, it's called head. Oh, we spelled cushion wrong. Sorry, Janice, you didn't tell me that. I didn't know. It's spelled wrong on all of them. I just said H. No, and then we've also got the uh, pale blue one. How funny, nobody's noticed that. No. I'll get into trouble for pointing it out, but there you go. <laughs> So you get the blue, the lilac, and the grey. This is a bundle, $24.99. Now, I have got them all individually, so if you only want one, or if you want three, you want three blue ones, or you want three lilac ones, you can do that in a minute. But this is the best way to buy them for uh, value for money. Because how much are they each, Anna? $9.99. So you're saving like six pounds, just under six pounds, aren't you, by doing it that way? So there's the blue, the lilac, and the grey. You get all three in the bundle, $24.99. Lovely, aren't they? So look, let me just show you what you get on each one. See, over half the stock's gone already. Loads had gone already before we came on to air. So there's your front. Now, we're saying that this is the back, but it doesn't have to be the back because I'll show you, I've got some fabric as well. So your front and your back. I'll just wait for Paul to come there. Front and back. Then you've got these. You get three other that you could make coasters out of. You could do whatever you wanted to out of those. Then the bottom here. You've got two handmade labels and an extra bit of flour there. Yeah, Janice didn't use the labels. I, did, I have had words. <laughs> right, okay. This bundle with all three in, there are now fewer than 20 available. Fewer than 20 available of those. So it's $24.99. Yeah, that's really good saving, isn't it? When they're not, they're, in a minute, I'm going to show you them. That, oh, they're each $9.99. Each colourway is $9.99. So they've called it pastel lilac and grey that's what they've called them 
<clears throat> for some reason. Beautiful. I love I love this one. I love. I mean, obviously, I love the cushion front, but I love this print here. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, actually, I've just realised what you could do. I have got some cream fabric by the half metre in a minute. What you could use, maybe use the cream as the backing and then applique one of these onto the cream so you can make your two cushions. And so out of one panel, you could easily make two cushions if you get half metre of other fabric. Oh, you've got fabric in your stash. Quilt blocks, these. Three quilt blocks, what would you make out of those? A wall hanging or a table runner if you use another fabric. I thought a nice pant. A pardon? A nicer plant pot. You keep you... going. I thought you said pants as well. <laughs> no, but I was thinking because of it being such a garden type yeah. project, if you've got like a beautiful summer house, yeah. you could have the cushions and then have the plant pot. What, plant pot covers? Covers. Oh. In, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um, Hannah's got some of those. I Make such a lot. <laughs> anyway, so 24 19. How are we doing for stock on those now? About to sell out. That's the bundle of three about to sell out. I've now got them individually. Oh, the most popular one individually so far is the grey. That's this one. So let's put the graphics in for the grey one. Is that the one you made, yeah. Janice? Janice did the grey one. I'm doing a lilac now. <laughs> Do you want me to... No, no, I can't touch yours. I can't touch it. From here, it looks a different colour, that's all. Uh, Jackie says, we had the kestrel in our garden last week. First time ever. Oh, lots of people saying hello to Janice. Sue says, morning, Janice. Happy Easter. Looking forward to lots of fun with you and John doing the fabulous demos. Georgina says, morning, Janice. Pam morning. Minihani says, morning, John, Paul. Uh, John, Hannah, Paul, and our lovely Janice. Ellen says, happy uh, Easter to you all. Carol says, happy Easter. Stuart says, happy Easter. Fabulous shirt. It's been great having you on Saturday and Sunday. Well, get used to it because I'm here for five Saturdays and five <laughs> Sundays in a row. <laughs> Margaret loves this shirt as well. Teddy says, oh, love the purple hair, Janice. What a gorgeous, rich colour from Teddy in Wimbledon. Aww, I told you, you, I think the darker colour <laughs> suits yeah. you more than the, the pastel pastel. Yeah. Strange. Anyway, this is the grey one, $9.99. You get the whole panel. So it's, And if you buy two, they don't come joined together. Not that you'd want them joined together. Third of the stock of the grey one's gone. Third of the grey one's gone. Okay, I'll move on. Right, hang on. Then we've got pastel. Yeah, I've already pointed that out, Hannah. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> there you go. This is the pastel, which I've called the blue one. This has got the pale blue background. So again, you get the front and the back, you get the three other panels, you get the two handmade labels, and you get the uh, little flowers at the bottom there. $9.99. I love this, yeah, I think this is lovely. Hi, Janice, says Lorraine. Oh, no, Lorraine thought my old, the shirt I was wearing before made me blend into the background. <laughs> That's nice, Lorraine, thank you. And then Gerardine says, John would never blend. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, now Pauline says, John, that shirt that Janice bought, you looks absolutely lovely on you. So lovely to see Janice again. Hi, Janice and John. Happy Easter. Oh, Janice, you're very popular. <laughs> Message across the bottom. <laughs> Hi, John. I bought the three pack to make a quilt block keeper. Project bags and pin cushions. Happy Easter from Bridget. Oh, have a whole set in your workroom. Of course you can. From one panel, you're getting loads. But even if you bought one, you could make a cushion. You can make two cushions because if you buy half metre fabric, they could be your backings. Pin cushion. What was the other thing she made? Oh, bookkeeper, block keeper and everything. Oh, Jeanette, she's already got it. Already? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Jeanette's got the grey panel. I thought you meant she'd got it already. I was going to say, that was quick. <laughs> Wouldn't it be brilliant if we could teleport it? You buy it and I go like that and it just appears in your house. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. Lilac. Yes. This is beautiful. This is classy, this colour, isn't it? Lilac. Lorraine says, I love you in bright colours, John. The panels are gorgeous. 
Karen says, morning all beautiful panels. I can't see the Easter egg today. Is it hiding on the fabric pouches? Karen, now somebody messaged in earlier, said I was spoiling the fun because it was a competition. <laughs> I'm not showing it, I'm not showing it, I was just pointing. Po Janice is doing the pods. Janice is doing the pods next time she's on in an hour's time. Right. No, she's, she's doing so in the pods. Okay, that's the lilac one. Now, just to show you a couple of other things I've got here. If you wanted to make two panels and maybe buy a half metre of cream fabric, or it might be vanilla, actually. Oh, it is cream, it is cream. This is a half a metre of cream fabric. Now, if you look at any... Uh, don't buy Misty Blue for it, because it, Misty Blue is green, um, and it won't go. But if you want to buy this or any of our other colours that are on the website, it's 3 49 for half a metre, 100% cotton. You'd get two cushion backs out of a half a metre. So if you've bought one panel and you want the, both of the panels we've got to be the fronts of your cushion, then that would be perfect. Oh, a FIFA review. Value for money, colour as expected, and won't be the last solid fabric I order from Sewing Street. There you go. Crafter. Okay, now I've also got some embroidery threads here because Janice embroidered hers. Uh, I've got the multi-pack here. This is the embroidery floss. I'll just move those away. Yeah, they're upside down. That's what I was. Nine ninety nine stranded cotton pastel. There is a black one in there. Look, There's three layers of colours. Look, look, look. Because you've seen that there. Three layers of colours in there. So you get all of those. Nine ninety nine. I think they're eight metres each, aren't they? Yeah, eight metres each, and there's thirty six skeins in there. Tell you what I haven't got here. Oh, uh, no, I know I haven't got them here. Yeah. I haven't got the pebble here, but we've got pe we've got embroidery needles in a pebble for sale, but they're on the website. Oh, we'll do it. We'll show you. We'll show it to you. We'll show it to you. There we go. There. It's, oh, it's very close. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why that's quite so big, but that's a pebble. It's called a pebble. It's got all the needles already in. It, yeah, it's only about the size of a small credit card. <laughs> that's how big it is, or this big. One ninety nine. Uh, one nine nine. If you need some embroidery needles, assorted embroidery needle sizes five to ten. One nine nine, and you get the little pebble to store them in as well. Right, Janice. <laughs> John. I haven't drunk any of my water yet because we're trying. We can to do, now. Yeah, no, we're trying to do the two liters a day, and I've not even two touched that yet today. Day, yeah. So if you just start, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Well, to I had to in. stop drinking coffee during the back break because I kept going in the toilet. Oh, don't need to tell everybody that, Janet. <laughs> I kept drinking coffee. And I thought I've got to stop doing this. Yeah, you have because you've got to stand in here for an hour with me. Right. Right. So. <laughs> what have you done? No, what I did on the. The you can take that down, you can take that down, take it down, right. I just can't First question I made, I embroidered it in black. Other way up. On the outside. That's it, well done. And then I coloured it in. Okay, so what, you, you followed all the lines doing followed black? Followed all the lines yeah. doing the black all the way around and then afterwards, it looked quite nice just being embroidered in the black. Oh really, and had the pastel yeah. colours come through? And the through. pastel colours coming through, but then again, if you're also an artist, you could paint further on top. So you don't have to embroider. If you wanted to, you could paint oh, okay. them as well. Or but bead them, if or, you do yeah, seed, per, or uh, bead seed them. beading. And it would be not a nice project to do again with children. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I did it in black and that stands out. But then when I did the lilac, <laughs> oh. I've done the grey. Right. Now the grey, has made it look a lot softer. Right. Um, and if you look here, I, I did take more care on this because I knew on air I wouldn't have time to do the colouring in. Yeah. So um, I've embroidered all of the actual flower and all I've left is the bee to do. Different so, colour on the cushion, Paul. So, yes. Yeah, so, so again, if you look, the actual, you could actually paint 
the middle as well. And you can do whatever you like really, can't you? So what I was going to do today was embroider the bee, make the cushion, and then show you a few embroidery stitches. Okay. So uh, well, I've also before when, when we get when we get ready to go, I've got some embroidery books here as well. So I'll yes. introduce those before so you actually you can... get going. But so so yeah. so, uh, what stitch did you you what? Well, I've used, used just a, a back stitch. Then I've used a satin stitch. Right. And I didn't use the French knot, but you can do. I was going to show you how so to do a in, French uh, knot. So in a minute, when I'm the middle of the, the day, you're going to show us back stitch. Satin stitch and French knots. Yes. So Perfect. if I do that first. Yeah, I'll do the bungs first, so then we can do that. Because the then we're going to make we'll the cushion as well, aren't we? And then we're going to make the Perfect. cushion as well. Right, so I've got three books here in bad embroidery. Um, which one would you actually first, Hannah? Yeah, of course, Gavin. This is the Q Garden. Well, you see, they come with it. Now they are they are they are random colours. I can't guarantee that you'll get those five colours, but you do get five struck skeins with it, right? These aren't the flowers we can say, but this is a beautiful, beautiful book. Right, oh now let me talk to you about the price first. 1899. Now hang on. Yes, because I was convinced this was more than this. Right, on the back, here you go, look. So on the back of the book, it says £25. I know this because I remember this when we did it, right? So the back of the book suggests it's £25, right? Right? What's the matter? Oh, the camera's gone blurred. Right. I know that we sent it, sold it for less than £25 because I made a big fuss about, it's a search press, we normally sell the, you know what I mean? We sold it for £21.99, but today, Easter, £18.99. So actually, you're saving six pounds and a penny from what they say it should be. Plus, you get five free embroidery skeins with it. Random colours. Oh, she's got that on her brain. Random colours, random colours, everyone. Random colours. Oh, Gerardine says, Janice, hello. Could you use a fabric pen to colour it in as well? Oh, That'd be lovely, so. yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Uh, Judith Love in the shirt. Thank you. Right, let's just go through this book very quickly before we go over to Janice. Oh, this is a coffee table book's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, so here we go. This is Trish Burr. Now, you may not know Trish Burr, but she, she uh, taught herself to do embroidery. She's got 11 inspiring projects with reusable iron-on transfers. Right, now, do you know how much... You, I'll open that in a minute, but you know how much... You, how many of these have got in stock? Oh, now I'm going to open these though, just so you can see the transfers in here, because you know how much you pay for transfers normally. You can use them over and over again, these transfers. Right, hang on. There they are. Here, look, no, 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 but look how many there are. That, those are just plain paper there for you to. Right. Oh, hang on. The camera's not. So you've got. Oh, hang on. I can't lick my finger, John. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Right, so, we've got Japanese and enemies. Oh, I see there's a page between each one. There, oh, look, pansies, thistles. This'll be lovely, Paul. Uh, sweet pea. Fuchsia. Bumblebee. Not 100% sure what that is. They're, they're a bit hard for you to see at home, anyway. Camellia. Oh no, there's a page between each one, look, so he's um, Rhododendrons, clematis, I've just bought some clematises. Uh, water lily. So you get all, oh, look at the iris, beautiful. So you get all of those, and uh, there's more, I'm not going to go through them, there's more. You get um, iron-on transfer, reusable iron-on transfers, I'll put those away in a second. And then the book itself is just exquisite, look. So we've got all of this, all of this. What? Um, right, here we go. What you need? Oh, now it doesn't. Well, I guess that was like a, a native lighting one. That one, doesn't it? Uh, right. Everything. Look. Stitch instructions. Look. How beautiful is all of this? So this has got all your different stitches in. Janice is just going to show us three stitches today. But this is like if you want to get a little bit more. Oh, look. This is brilliant as well, isn't it? So in that picture, she's actually told you what thread she's used. So you can order the threads that you need for that pattern. Anyway, look at this beautiful book. 
There's the water lily I just showed you. So you can have the transfers for these. Oh, there's the rhododendron. So you get the transfers and then look, she's given you a key of what colour she's used where. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful book. I think it'd be lovely as a coffee table, but that for £18.99. Plus you get five random coloured uh, embroidery skeins. Got to, I've got a review from Audrey on the book. Sorry, Jan, we'll be with you in a second. No, don't uh, Sumptuous book, beautiful illustrations, templates and skeins. Woucher from Audrey. Thank you, Audrey, my love. I'll put those away in a minute. I can't get those in without them getting sticky. Right, okay. And what I love is it's also got, when you're on your page, look. So say you're doing your butterfly, it's got those elastic things around it, look, to hold your page open. Thoughtful. Oh, single figures already on that. I'm not surprised. Single figures already. Right, two other books very quickly. Doodle Stitching Embroidery Art. This is by Move Beyond the Pattern with Amy Ray. Oh, oh, right, okay. So this is previously sold at $14.99. We knocked a pound off for Easter. Little projects in there, look. Nice. All sorts of different realism and then and kind of a bit of um, creativity. Hoop within a hoop. Hang on, I've gone too far back. Nature flat lay canvas art. There's all sorts of different art. I think that's lovely, that one. Grow! Dream! <laughs> Love! Oh, Paul, do you know what? Paul's tried all three of those and none of them worked. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Look. Oh, that's <laughs> clever. Look. Pet portrait. Doodle stitching, embroidery art, saving a pound today on Easter Sunday. And last but not least, we've got thread doodling, over 20 modern designs for stitching in the moment. Karina Envoldson Harris. Uh, this one's really good for practicing your different stitches. Yeah, no, I'm just having a look. How much are we? A $9.99. Re oh, and reusable iron-on transfers included. Where are they? Karina. In the pack. Oh, this one's not got any. <laughs> no, they're here, they're here, they're here. You need to cut them out of the book, though. You do need to cut them out of the book. Learning different stitches and techniques. Brilliant, isn't it? Look. That's, oh, look, that's like, like Tula Pink Geode, that. In it. Oh. <laughs> no! Where's it? Right, I'll just walk over here <laughs> to get this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look! Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Think reverse. Yes. It is oh, it's because no, you've ironed it that way. Of course it is. Of course it is, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? We haven't, I didn't know why, I didn't know where that, where that had come from. We've got lots of, actually, do you know what? I found a box with loads of these in yesterday. Yes. Well, we didn't have room for them and the Easter egg on set, did we? Why, where is it? Oh, I thought you meant on the thingy. Rainbow Sea, look. Oh. oh. Where's the one that Paul's just said he's... <laughs> All different stitches in there. Poor Paul, what you say about him. Uh, what, why, what have I said about him now? Uh, excuse me, Kath. He said it, not me. He, I, he talks down here, and he went, oh, John, I've tried all those. <laughs> C, 
Susan says, I love hand embroidery. You've been doing it since I was seven years old. Won't say how many years that is. <laughs> Angela. <laughs> Angela wants to know if Hannah's eaten the competition egg. She's not in. Are you in tomorrow? She's not in tomorrow, so she can't because tomorrow's the last day. No, she can't. Right. Okay, Janice, let's do some stitching because we're halfway through the show. And Kath, 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 don't feel sorry for Paul. We love him, really. Right. Nice. Come well, on, Janice. Don't we? We love you. know, you're an out, you're not an outside your family member, but you, we all love Paul, don't we? All oh, we? yes. Yeah. yeah, we play him up. Yeah, we play him up. But then we he all play each other up and he yeah. plays yeah. all yeah. of that. So. You, you see, what, the thing is at home, you don't hear what Hannah sound. and Paul say to me down here. So you only hear the bad things I say about them, the, uh, what I get back at <laughs> tenfold. It's nothing but insults, I warn you. Yeah. <laughs> right, go on, Janice, do some sewing. So I'm going to do some sewing now. So... I've actually threaded loads of needles ready, so yeah. I can just whip them off. Good. <laughs> rather than as long as you're them. your needles, you whip off. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm going to start with first is the the B, okay? Yeah. So with this one, I'm going to pop a knot in because it's really a stitch yeah, standing on its own. To the right, sorry, Janet, if you could just a bit more. <laughs> Am I there? Yeah, Am you're I there. there? Am I you there? Can see, yeah. So the B. We're doing the actual buzz, the buzzing to begin with. So I'm just going to go in, up through oh, the one okay, needle. Okay. And well, this is going to be doing the back stitch. Look, I've already unthreaded. <gasps> oh, um, Janice, whip another one out. No, I won't because of the, the knots. So I'll be all right. This one's got quite big irons. Uh, already spent beyond my budget. I'll have to sell <laughs> one of my. Godchildren to make up the shortfall, Teddy in Wimbledon. Teddy, you can't say that. So all you do, you just go in, in, up, tie a knot, go up, down, up. So I'm quickly just going up and down into the stitching where it's marked with the paint already. Yeah. So I'm just creating the actual rosin. Because then when we get round to the B, that's where I'll be doing the satin stitch. Right. And then I'll show you a French knot separate. Brilliant. So we're just starting with the easiest stitch to begin with. Yeah. This uh, is what you always have to be careful. Did you do a knot on the back of it? Yes. yes, I did. Yes, I did. I don't normally, though, on the... This is the trouble with embroidery. You have to be careful. It doesn't knot as you're going along. Oh, is it just knotted as you've gone along? It's just knotted now? as I've gone along. Which it always seems to do. Show the finish. While Janice doesn't do that, just show the finish one. There's the the bumblebee, or the buzz, as Janet called it, behind the bumblebee. That's all um, backstitched as you go along there. You back on So on I'm track. just back on. Yeah. yeah, okay, Paul. So I'm just going along. Now, really, I've gone for a bit of a longer thread, whereas to stop it knotting, you could... If you've got time, just go for the smaller thread. Exactly. And that's what you normally do. But I'm doing a longer thread so that I can just do it all, hopefully, in one. Susan so says, I tease my sister the same that way you all do, Paul. Good job they know it's because they're loved. There yes, you go, Paul. it's true. And Rachel says, this is like the embroidery my mum used to do. Just goes to show it never dates. It's never dates. Now, I'll tell you something. When I opened the shop in America with my cousin... I actually did an MGB motor car vintage for Clive and it took me hours, it took me hours. I used to sit outside the shop when we, we were waiting for customers and yeah. sit and sew this MGB. Oh my, well, has he still and got it? it? I've, got, I've still got it. Well, Clive died, didn't yeah, he? Of course so, sorry, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've still got it. Yeah, no. Um, but it, it took hours. I and bet. it was the old vintage car. So that's how long have you made one for Martin? Sewing. What have you done for Martin? No, Martin wouldn't be into it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Martin, Martin's not into that no. type of thing. He'll so message in in a minute. He then. likes rugby and... Well, he could you know embroider a rugby me. ball. <laughs> he could do. So I'm just going round here as quick as I can. Yeah. Because one of yeah, those... Yeah, don't rush it at home. I did, just doing it I did time that. that. Just that takes 17 minutes. Oh, hang on. Just what? Just, just that, that one Paul. stem there yeah. takes 17 minutes 17 to do. minutes, yeah. To do. But also, if you bought it for your own pleasure, it's not a race, is it? I mean, you no. have to have it ready for today's show. Well, it was home. ideal for me because 
I love my Emmerdale, and it was a good week on Emmerdale. So I was sitting there, hands sewing. I loved it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, because with hands sewing, you can have the radio on, lovely. You can yeah. have the TV on in the background. It, it's just sewing street. It's and sewing streets, yeah, in the mornings. <laughs> I'm always at work though. So, but yeah, but um, I do tape it as well. But yeah, so. All I'm doing is going round, and if you've noticed, that hasn't took that long, so I'm just going in yeah. and out. Up, down, up to the other side, down. Another comment on the shirt, Janice. That shirt really suits you, John, it's from Cousin Susan. the colours. Oh, Susan runs her thread through beeswax to stop it knotting. Oh, is that true? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Good. I don't know about embroidery, but if you're doing hand stitching, I'd always put hand me through stitching. beeswax. Yeah. yeah, I've never known that. Just, just helps it slide through quicker. Yeah. See, people now, they do embroidery for a living, and you can get all this stuff now. Yeah. Whereas I've just only ever done it for pleasure, of course. really. Um, Joyce, though, it's know. not one of the transfers that this. Oh, hang on. If you wash the cushion, the printed line outline disappears. No, no, it's not like at one of the sashko no. panels. It literally is there the whole time. So even if you miss a stitch, that it doesn't matter because it's part of the design. So when I'm casting off, all I do is just go through a few stitches at the back. Yeah. Exactly like I do when I'm knitting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. just trim it off. Yeah. Oh, to get you on yarn lane. I do all hand cross. I've knitted for you. Oh, you used to knit, John, before I sewed. Oh, and did it was, you? Yeah, and it was my mum who said... Janice, do you realise you spend hours knitting, yet to make a dress it's less time? Oh. And that's what she always well, used to Rebecca say. Reed. Yeah, so I used to knit before. Well, what it was, was when I was at college, I used to work on the checkouts at the supermarket. Right. And I've always been in figures. And when we used to have a break, I used to go up to the canteen, because you had canteens a lot Yeah, in them yeah, days. Well, I worked in Brown to Chester with a canteen, yeah. And I used to sit with all these middle-aged women, and they all used to sit knitting, and I was doing nothing but... In the canteen? In the canteen. Oh. And for the lunch hour, they used to all sit knitting, oh. and that's what got me started. Oh, wow. So now I'm just going to do a backstitch. What back you stitch, now, A backstitch. Back so that's yeah. like a little running stitch, but going backwards. Yeah. And all you do, go down... Up the one side, I'm going around the B body now. Yeah. Down behind it, and then up again. And then you go into the main stitch that you started with. Right. Now, what you can't do here, if you're the beginner, is don't go to, don't think, oh, I'm going to do it there, because it won't, it won't be as good. <laughs> You've right. got to do closer stitches. Right. About half a centimetre or do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't really do big stitches because you want to keep the shape yeah. of the actual body and the, the shape of the flower, the shape oh, of the yeah, leaf. Oh, yeah, that's what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can't leave too much of a gap because otherwise it will just, it won't work. Well, it doesn't outline it properly. It doesn't does outline it? it properly. But if you do do it and you think, oh, damn, you oh gosh, you mean? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, or damn. Yeah. You can always just. <laughs> you can always just uh, hot, uh, do it if you're colouring it in with thread. You can always fudge it. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what that I mean? That technical term. Yeah. Fudge it. Yeah. I don't do that in your day job. <laughs> Can't fudge figures, can you? <laughs> you have to. Oh. <laughs> Remind me not yeah. to book you as my accountant then. <laughs> yeah. So you you just have to. Hold, you'll hold it down if um, with the other cotton. Yeah. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, here it. we go. I do all handicrafts, but my arthritis makes it very difficult. Aww. But now, now, but I persevere from Jeanette in County Durham. Oh, Good Jeanette. for you, Jeanette. Keep persevering, Jeanette. Oh, yeah, thread magic. A lot of people use thread magic instead of beeswax. Thread magic? It's like the modern day equivalent of beeswax. So beeswax is actual, you know, beeswax. Whereas thread magic yeah. is like something that's been created to do to the do same thing. To do the same job. Yeah. See, all these things have come out since I've been doing things. Yeah, so, yeah, no, exactly. It's like when I trained, you never ever used polyester thread. No. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it was always wasn't a thing. But now, cotton. technology has come on so much. So all I'm doing first is the outline. And then we colour it in afterwards. It's always best to do the outline first. Yeah. And then do the colours afterwards. 
Would one skein of black or grey be enough to do the whole c pillow? No. no. So if you're doing the outline, how many skeins do you I need? ran out. I ran out there with the grey. With the one grey. Oh, just point. quite close no, to the end. No, I ran out. I had a silk. Right. I used a silk on it. Right. This is a different make Was it eight inches on your silk one? Um, I think it was. Yeah. And then I had to use this one that I got in my stash. Oh, okay, as well. okay. So um, yeah, so it just takes. If you do want more, if you, bought, if you bought the uh, embroidery floss, we've got black one on its own, and also on the website we've got all different colours yeah. on their own as well. But with the black, I'd I'd have two. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, it's never wasted. No, of course not. I mean, well, no, because if you do and they're making like um, <laughs> like if you think about a Helen Newton teddy bear cushion or something like that, yeah. you're always doing embroidery where the nose is or something like that, aren't you? It's never wasted so now here with the body what i'm saying is i wouldn't do a stitch that long right i'm gonna i will for the show because of <gasps> the time but i would literally go into the middle yeah there i'll do it the one time come up oh, i should have gone the other way then so i i would go up up and then go back Okay. Again, let me just do another one. I would go into the middle. Right, into the middle. There. Come up the other side, which I should have done. And then go back on myself. There. Just to make it in two halves. Yeah. I wouldn't go, and if I do it now, I'll show you what I mean. Well, on your embroidery thread, did you did you use the whole thickness or did you? No, two two strands Just I two use. Strands. But again, you can use as many strands as you like for the thickness. Because but, it can make it very bold if well, you use it. With thick. the French knot, I used all of them. Oh, okay, okay. Right. But for the outline, the actual you just outline, use two. You see, if you use two on a French knot, it disappears. The French knot disappears. Okay. That's called so the disappearing do. French knot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I never know when you're winding me I'm up. I'm winding you up, Dennis. I'm winding you up. <laughs> so, if you look, now I've done it there, and it, it, if you look, it's very loose. Yeah, oh, yeah, you don't want that. So, you don't want that. You want it neat and yeah. that. So, again, I'm just going around okay. backstitch, just round the. And you don't use a hoop in it then? You didn't use a hoop? No. No. To be honest, I didn't know where my hoop was. I couldn't you can't find pull, it. Just keep turning it. So, um, yeah, because I've always had hoops. Yeah. And I couldn't find it. It's been that long since I did embroidery. You've got hoops on the show tomorrow. Have you? Yeah, I have, and it's not me. I've unpacked my show. They just keep it nice and yeah. taut, the hoops. Yeah. You really need hoops. Yeah. But I couldn't find mine. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been so, it's probably somewhere up the loft. Oh. But it's been so long since I've done embroidery. Yeah. So. But nice to get back into it though. Yeah, it is, it is. Because, oh, I love cross-stitch as well. I do used yeah. to do it all. Would you so. like to, I'm not that one to hurry you, but would you like to do a satin stitch next? Yeah, I'll just finish that yeah. off there. So the satin stitch I'm going to do on the actual bee's tummy. Yeah. Again, on the body. So again, just going through. Okay. There's the final bee that we're going to be working off. towards in a second. That's it. So the satin stitch already threaded yeah okay so on here just a little knot again you don't have to do a knot though i didn't really do that many knots on them because the knots can show through with yeah. the ball cup same place paul so, on the same bumblebee same bumblebee okay so all you're doing with that one is you're going in right so there now i did them long ways on the Oh, I'm sorry sure about be, the camera, everybody at home. Sorry, is it? No, no, it's not you. It's not you. It's the camera's going okay. out of focus. So all you do is satin stitch, go up one side, down the other, and up again as close to that stitch as you can get. Mm -hmm. So pull it down, again, down as close to that stitch as you can get, and you come up as close to that stitching as you can get. Yeah. You can do these on the machines as well, can't you, the embroidery Yeah, machines. no, but it's, so, it's um, be nice just to do it all by hand, wouldn't it? Nice to do it all by hand. We love you to use a gift as well. I know. Just because then when somebody sees that you've done all that lovely hand stitching for them. Down, up, 
I just think the, these cushions lent to it. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And the nice thing about the panel, these squares, if you notice the B on the actual panel side is a bigger B. Oh, is it? And it would be lovely to embroider them as well. If you can see. Oh, yeah, on the one on the side here. Yeah. Much bigger B on this bigger one B. here. Yeah. On the little panel on the side there. So that's the satin stitch coming along. Now, because I haven't, because I'm where I'm sewing, it didn't, sorry, that is. Oh, don't worry. Did you crazy. use, uh, is, have you got an interfacing or a stitch and tear or anything on the back or is the fabric stable enough to do it without? No, it's no? stable to do it without, no. You could do if you want to. If you, if you prefer a more stiff background, you can put a soft interfacing or a stitch yeah. and tear available on tomorrow's show. See, again, I, would, I wouldn't think of that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I need to watch a bit more. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all different. It's all personal taste, isn't it? So all I'm doing is going... I just went a bit over there then. See, and what you can do, if you, if you do go over, when I said about fudging it, yeah. you can sew. If, you, if you've left too much of a long stitch, what you can always do is go up yeah. into that stitch. Like here now, I've got the satin stitch going on, but if it was dark, I'd go up into that stitch there to hold it down. Right. And that's when I'd fudge it, like yeah. cheat yeah. it, to hold it down. So that's your satin stitch. Okay. Nearly done. Just do it. Before we go on to the French knot, I don't, yeah. don't, you don't, because we're going to run out of time, you don't need to say it. Can you just explain how you made the cushion next then? Right, with the cushion, I actually did the zip. So it, let me just do that. You, yeah, you use the you use the back of the, the, on the panel, there's a cushion back. There's the cushion. Have you got a picture of the back, Paul? Look, that's the back. You've used that, but if you want to, you could use yeah. that as another front and use the cream plane as the back. Yeah, you can. So what, what I actually did on this, I actually, first of all, tidied up Okay. And zigzagged. Right, hang on a sec. So you did the zip first? Yeah, I did the zip first. And how long a zip did okay. you use? I used the seven, seven and a half inch zip because that's all I got in at home. So what I actually did was I joined them. Yeah. So that they were the right hand pen. That's it, that way. Right, right, so what I did, I did four inches in. Right. Either side. Five eighths of an inch down. Right. Four inches in. Yeah. Then I did a basting stitch. Right. Across there. Mm -hmm. Then I actually then pressed it open. Oh, uh, so you did it, you pretended you'd sewn the whole seam together. Yeah. The first four inches were normal stitches, backwards and forwards. The last four inches are proper stitches backwards, but the yeah. stitches in between the in two the middle, inches are the great big basting stitches, stitches and don't backwards and forwards over it. Press it open so it looks Press like it you've open. done a whole seam. Press okay. it open. Then I put the zip down. Yeah. And I actually taped it first. Like with quilter's tape? Yes, with quilter's tape. What did you use in real life, Janice, when you did this at home? <laughs> Plasters. <laughs> she had no quilter. We didn't send her any quilter's tape. So she hadn't got any sticky, so she had to use plas plasters, plasters <laughs> to hold it in place. Anyway, carry on, carry on. And then... <laughs> then I turned it Never tell me anything, to Janet. the right side <laughs> because what happened when I was on the back, that's where I actually taped it. Yeah. Then I put the pins in either side of the actual metal parts. Yeah. Then I turned it back over yeah. and used a zipper foot and sewed through all of it. Okay, and then right. I sewed all, all of the, the way, way around. around the cushion. I put the cushion. Right, let's get and back to the French knot that. now and then we're done. So the French hour. knot. Yep. <laughs> so now you did. Big thread. This is a massive needle, by okay, the way. But you I've didn't done do this on any purpose. French knots on your cushion. No. You haven't got one to show. So this is just no. if you want to do some decorative, like French in the middle knots. of the flower or something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going to do on here. Right. So tie a knot. Yeah. In the fabric, you wouldn't use this size needle. No, but you've but used all. I've all... used all six threads in this one. From the from yes. the skein. Yeah. Use all six yeah. threads. Yeah. So what you do? Go up. Hang on a sec, Janice. Just need to get the camera on too. So there's the flower. Hang on. Okay. Right, okay. Pull it up. Okay. Yeah. Then, 
what I did then was where you hold the thread taut. Yeah. Okay. Then near where you've come through the thread. Yeah. About half an inch. I've threaded that round twice. Right. Do it matter okay. which way you go round? No. No? Okay. Well, don't forget I'm caggy, aren't I? And then you pull it through. And then that leaves your French knot. Right. Hang on a second. Oh, hang on. That hasn't worked today. I was practising these yesterday. Kath says, I love Janice. She's so honest and down to earth. <laughs> Let me try Janice, again. she always makes me smile, right. says Lorraine. Okay. Right, so Say again. Come through. Yeah. Hold it taut. Yeah. Then wrap it round twice. Yeah. You can go, go around as many times as you like, really, right. can't okay. you? Then, let me go back into it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Go back into it. Pull it through. Oh, da, da, da. oh. That's it. There you go. It's going. You know, I did these yesterday because I wanted to show you them on here. Yeah. And they worked every time. And now they're not, not in Different there. Different, It's not real life, it's, is it? It's so annoying. Have you got time to try one more? You can do one more. She's gonna, she's not going to give up. Third time lucky. Through. Through. It's because you use such a big needle, I think. Right, I think pull, so. Because I, I wanted to use a big needle yeah. so people could see it. Pull it through. Pull it through. Keep it taut. Then keep it taut. Then go round. Yeah. Go back down. I wonder if it is because of the needle. Could be. Yeah. And pull it through. There we hey, go. Hey, third time lucky, Perfect. Janice. Just hold it forward. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I don't believe Brilliant. that didn't work. You know, but... <laughs> Brilliant, I Janice. I did it so many times, and I thought I'm going to do that on the show. Yeah, exactly. Right, Janice, well done. In an hour's time... Oh, you're doing better study pods, aren't I'm you? I've been doing the pods. The ones behind you are the ones that you made already. Yes. And you've made one, the big deep one, and one round yeah. one. So you've got both yeah. patterns. Which one are you making on the show? The, the deep big one. one. The but they're the one. same uh, principle. sort of um, principle, aren't yeah. they? Just showing that yeah. one. And we've got, got different ones as well. Yeah. And then the ones behind me here are all the ones that Beth's made. Those along the wall there. Yeah, let's do the panels then. So the bundle of the bundle of three panels are sold out. Lilac first. That's this one. So you get the front, the back, you get three squares, and you get the two labels, and you get the extra little bit of flower down there. Lilac, $9.99. Third of the stock of those is gone. <clears throat> No. Next one, grey. Yep, grey one. Are the colours, are the actual colours, you, oh, you only sent one, you only sent one, weren't you? Um. Oh, yeah, the colours are different. Right, I should have pointed this out at the beginning, look. The colour on the leaves on that one are like a... T um, bluey green whereas on the lilac one they're like a grass green can you see that okay anyway we're on the gray one now we're on the gray one now and then last but not least we've got i think we call this pastel don't we pastels but it's actually blue background and we've gone to the gr grass green leaves again on that one 9.99 Isabel says, well done, Janice. Clear as a bell, she said. Do you mean clear as mud? Don't we mean? <laughs> Don't be cruel. I'm not being cruel, Janice. We love you. <laughs> right, in the next hour, we've got spring gorgeousness coming up in the next hour. I can't remember what it's called. It's just me on my own. We will see, are you ready? We'll see you in four minutes from now. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1 p.m. every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Hi, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her, um, she was a dressmaker. And I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself and from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day and if things do go wrong then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012 I was a VIP driver with the Olympics and I met some really interesting people who were very nice and I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. What time have you got to, Hannah? Okay, I've just reached 7 a.m. on mine, so I'm three hours behind on mine. Hannah hasn't refilled hers yet, but the bunny is nearly at midnight. Right, okay, I'll make sure that doesn't drop off there. Right, got some gorgeous, 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 like, oh, got lovely things. Oh, I've not seen that before. Oh, that's, oh, we'll do it later, we'll do it later, we'll do it later. It's candle mats coming up. Right, here we go. Now, these aren't bundles, are they? No, individual. Yeah, yeah, I can see the bundle at the end, but these are, oh, this is nice. 
Now, this is brand spanking new. By the half meter, it feels lovely. I can't, I, the fabric feels beautiful. Sunflowers, now this is the one I saw on the web earlier, isn't it lovely? Uh, 4 99 Hang on, hang on, is it digital print? Oh, don't, it looks like a digital print. They're normally 8 50 aren't they? It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, oh, so many of you have come in to get that now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just sanitize or I'll just move my strawberries. There we go. I know there's so much going on. There's so much going on. What's the matter? No, I won't sanitize the strawberries. Uh, this is about to sell out. Brand new, brand new it is. Oh, and so much. <laughs> there's only two meters left. It's called Songbird Sunflower Fields. And there's two meters left. So let me fold that one up. That was beautiful. Oh, they're all gorgeous, these. Is that a now? Yes, we'll save that one till the end. Because when we saw it on the website earlier, everyone went, oh, that's gorgeous. Right, hydrangeas in pink. I was going to change my shirt back in the break, but I didn't have time. I'll leave it on now. Oh! This is gorgeous, isn't it? Let me see if I roll my sleeves up. That'd be better. Uh, 4 .90, Oh, that would buy this. 4 99 Songbirds, pink hydrangea. Right, now this... um. The, this is going to go like the, the sunflowers. Half the stock's gone. Half the stock has gone. Oh, I'd love some of this. Oh, hang on. Are we getting a different shirt every hour? No, Claire. Not today. Martina says, warning. John and staff. Yes, they're my staff, Martina. Um, no, Paul's not staff. He's freelance. He's very casual today. It's got brand new trainers on, mind you, apparently. <coughs> I haven't seen them. I only heard Hannah say a earpiece earlier. Have you got new? Are they what? Red? Oh, you know what they say. Yeah. Suzanne, that dark colour shirt makes you look younger. And the longer hair too. Oh, I'm going to buy more darker shirts then. Do you think so? I think I look old and haggard today. Anyway, keep going through. I don't condone punching, but... Poof. You see, you see, they go on, you go on, you go on at me about say, what I say to little Paul and Hannah. And then Hannah just said, and she was, anyway, she's still getting me back. Sarcasm, that's called, not support. I know, I'm not going to get that back, am I? Paul just said, remember the chocolate you bought. No, but Hannah bought me flowers. Hannah, she gave me flowers. I've got you some flowers. I got a bit squashed in the car. <laughs> she dropped them. To drop them, but it's the thought. It's the thought that counts, and they're lovely, bright spring flowers. Look lovely on my fireplace later. I'll put a picture on Facebook. But it's the thought that counts, Anna. Four ninety-nine. We'll open Paul's presents later. I got new trainers too, black and silver glitter with my name on it. Paul, you should get some of those. I don't know what that last bit means though, Pauline. If it brings, it's me. If it, oh, blings. If it blings, it's me. <coughs> uh, now, Hannah was saying, we spend every public holiday together. We spend Christmas Day together. We spent the whole of Easter together. Paul's there as well. And we were wondering what else we could ce celebrate. So I said Valentine's Day and we were like, mm. um, what was the next one we said we were going to do? Oh, there, there was um, Hanukkah, Diwali. We're going to do them all. We're going to do them all. What do we have? What do we have the other day? We have, um, is it Passover was the other day? I thought we'd celebrate everything. We're always here, aren't we, together? Oh, hang on. Derek said, is Hannah making an appearance again today? <laughs> oh, you did half laugh yesterday when you, Paul, she, kept, she walked into shot yesterday. <laughs> she got very confused. She was bringing me something. I was getting the wipes out and I yeah, no, she walked right across the screen. Anyway, look, this is lovely. Hydrangeas in pink. How are we doing on stock on this one? Five metres left, that's all. Five metres left of that one. There be Wait till you see the next one as well. Hydrangeas in blue. Or have they called it blue or have they called it lilac? Oh, purple. Yeah, purple. We can do that. This one. Very, very popular, this one on pre-order. 
Han Minihani. Hannah in shot was hilarious yesterday. Pauline said Hannah was funny yesterday. I think you can tell the water you're drinking is showing in your complexion. Makes your skin look younger and fresher. I've also got, um, who was that, Paul? Um, Sue, I've also got new makeup. It's called War Paint for Men. And I think it's a much better makeup. Anyway, this one's about to sell out, is it? Okay, I'm going to fold it up then. Oh, everybody ooed at this next one. Oh, this, what flowers are they then? Waratah blooms. Wouldn't they look brilliant in your garden? <clears throat> okay, that is the Waratah plant. Okay. Uh, Paul just said it's Australian and Hannah's just read on Google it's an Australian plant. Oh, Waratah is a place in Australia. That's how Paul knew. Oh, isn't it dramatic though and gorgeous? Oh, we have lots of response to this one. Morning all. I love watching Sewing Street and all the chatter. It makes me smile. We need to see Hannah again, says Lulu. The fabric looks almost 3D on the telly. It does, doesn't it? 4 99 for half a metre. There's only five and a half metres left. We had loads of each of these. So the sunflower sold out. The pink hydrangea sold out. The lilac hydrangea has got a couple that need to check out, but will sell out. And this is going to sell out. All brand new. Lovely. Right, now we're moving on to another new range of fabric. Well, I say new range. I've never seen it before. Okay, so these are this range. The flora range. Now, it's not a bundle. It's not a bundle. I've got orange flowers. I've got seed packets. I hadn't seen the seed packets before. Silhouettes and then the flowers on black. Right, okay, let's do orange first then. This is Hannah's favourite. Okay. 100% cotton. This is Figo Fabrics. Flora range. Oh, it's by Marisol. Oh, so Marisol did... Oh, uh, remember these? These are Marisol. I thought that sold out yesterday. Isn't it lovely, though? Now, don't buy it if you don't like orange. Hannah adores it. You know what they say about orange, though, don't they? So you're searching for the perfect relationship. She is. She is. Uh, how much is it? Four ninety nine again. This shouldn't be four ninety nine. No, no, this shouldn't be four ninety nine. Just to warn you. Design a fabric for four ninety nine half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's kind of got an almost seventies vibe to it, hasn't it? Hannah seeing it in uh, pleats. I'm going to do gathers rather than pleats. Well, only because the pleats would take too long. Well, hang on. There's the, uh, there is it in, there's it in gathers. Oh, a little girl's skirt would be adorable, wouldn't it? Hannah wants to see a box pleat. Okay, Hannah. Hang on, there you go. There you go, there's your box pleat. That's an inverted box pleat. No, that's a box pleat, sorry, that's a box pleat. And then we can do an inverted box pleat that way around. Uh, it might be a bit fine for curtains, Paul. Depends what, a blind, it'd be lovely as a kitchen blind or a bathroom blind. Oh, imagine if that was in a blind and it was east facing window. Imagine the colour of the light coming through the window in the morning. Oh, honestly, five metres left. It's a very busy day, isn't it? Every day is a busy day at the moment, though, isn't it? It's fantastic, I love it. Suzanne says, yeah, my mum had a carpet like that. Am I the same age as your mum then, Suzanne? I was thinking, I was thinking, well. Beautiful. Right, now I'm going on to seed packets. 
Diana seen this one before. I haven't. Same range, so it's going to be the same price. Oh, wow, look at those colours. That Cosmos is the one that the Liberties use. In fact, I think I've got Cosmos fabric coming up in one of the bundles, haven't I? I might have Cosmos in one of Janice's bundles. Cosmos look beautiful. Dulcie's got loads of Cosmos in her garden. We've got Cosmos. We've just got seeds. We've got sunflowers, wildflowers. It's a bit early for sunflower, Hannah. No, because I know, because Chris next door to me, she always, she always grows lots of sunflowers in summer. And she, I always get three delivered, little seedlings. Well, I say little seedlings, they're that big. And then Danny plants them in a great big basket on my um, patio. So sunflowers are the easiest plants in the world to grow. Hannah cannot grow them. Hannah, they just don't like Hannah. Anyway, this is 4 dollars half metre. It's 100% cotton, machine washable. Quilting weight. What will you make out of that? It'd have to be something for the garden, wouldn't it? Don't you think? A bolster cushion for a seating, a swing. I'm going to buy a new, what, you know those, um, I was thinking I was going to get uh, furniture like Dust. Dust's got a big L-shaped cushion, um, sofas with a big table. I don't need that. I'm going to get another one of those, um, you know, you sit and it swings with a canopy over the top. And I've seen a lovely stripy one in the, a what? So, no, it's like a three, three seats, three, like a sofa that hangs down like that with a canopy over it. You sit on it and it just swings like that. Like on, like on the um, veranda, like on the veranda. I've already got one in beige, but it's a bit bashed about now. I use it all the time in the summer when it's hard to use it all the time. But also I made the mistake of thinking, oh, I can leave it out in the winter and it's really wrecked it. So that's on the patio now right round the corner. And I want one for my patio outside the kitchen now. Oh, the best sun's in the patio around the corner. Don't come round, but I can. If I wanted to, I could do a bit of a, a bit of um, naturist sunbathing there if I wanted to. Yeah, if I wanted to. But there is a public footpath. No, 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 no. There's a public footpath that runs across the bottom of my garden, which is only the length of three gardens. We don't. It doesn't have a beginning and an end. It's just this bit of. But anyone can walk down the back of my garden. Yeah, and once a year, the Ramblers Association walk down it. Well, they did. They didn't do it this year. Yeah, they have to check because it's in history. It's a historical path, so it has to stay there. Yeah. Anyway, this is nice. Now, I have to say, on my telly, it's looking a different blue than it is in real life. It's it's more of a um, tealy blue. This one, I'm seeing that one. I'm seeing the preview one. Paul, can you put that one on? Right, can you see there, it's more of a tealy green. It's not this kind of blue, it's a tealy green. There you go, that, that's more like it, that's more like it. Just go in there, you can, there it is. That's a more of a true colour. When it was flat from upstairs, it looked much bluer. <gasps> it's beautiful though. A lovely design. It's got a kind of a vintage... They've all got like a vintage vibe to them, haven't they? <clears throat> oh, no, I imagine ha Hannah to have little vases. Not the watering can so much, but the little vases. Oh, she's got West German pottery. Oh, dear, says Julie. Already come to fabric. I can feel a must-have wave coming on. It's all your fault, John Scott. You're so enthusiastic. Oh, you're very kind. No, that's not from the management. Yeah. Four, <laughs> four ninety nine. I feel an email coming on. Right, yo, and then this one. I love this one. Look. Oh, I love it. Oh, Paul's seeing an apron. I think the colours are stupendous. Aren't they, though? Aren't they, though? 
You can make a dress out of this if you want, Hannah. Wouldn't be little, but you can make a dress. Oh, Paul's thinking a night sky. Blimey, if the flowers in your garden light up like that, Paul, it's very magical where you live. Oh, so much of this has gone already. So much of this has gone already. Lots in baskets, you haven't checked out yet. This is the last one of this range, by the way. So you've seen the orange... You've seen the orange flowers, you've seen the seeds, and you've seen the night... I called it the night garden, but or like Paul thinks this one's more like a night garden. Aren't they, they've just got the colours right, haven't they? The colour balance on that one is just so lovely. You see, I am seeing a quilt. I'm seeing a quilt all cut up on that one. You know, like, you know, kind of all... Like an Emma Bradford quilt sort of thing. Just love the colours. I think they're beautiful. Oh, Julie says... Sun hat and matching tote bag. Oh, get you. Get you walking down the high street. Sashaying down the high street with your sun hat. Sashay away. Um, Emma, you know Emma, director Emma, her boyfriend, right, likes football. He loves Formula One and he loves RuPaul's Drag Race. I know. But then Vix's, Kieran is the same. He loves football and all the manly sports, loves RuPaul's Drag Race. And, and, and Vix says she, he actually squeals at RuPaul's Drag Race. I know. It's funny, isn't it? Anyway, back to this. Okay, there's seven metres not been checked out. Uh, once those seven metres have gone, that's it. It will be sold out. Message on my bottom. Right. Oh, no, John. Things keep falling into my basket. I was going to be good today. Never mind. Next time from Michelle in Tyne and Weir. Michelle, you only live once. I th now, I might be wrong. Can you tell me at home? Because, you know, I think it's end of Lent today. No, it wasn't two days ago. No, it was. The end of Lent wasn't two. Well, anyway, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Wait. Can you tell me? I thought today was the last day of your fasting. So that's why you had your Easter eggs on Easter Sunday. No, because Good Friday was the day that... No, because three days later, he... he but I'm, I'm obviously don't want to get too religious because people have different, lots of different people watching with different faiths. So I don't want to get, you know, that go down that road. But I think it's today. Jane Alcock will tell us. I wonder if Jane Alcock's watching. She'll know. I'm sure. Oh no, she'll be at church now. Actually, it'll be. I'm sure it's today. It's not Good Friday. You, it's definitely, definitely not Good Friday. You eat your Easter eggs. Yeah, 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 Lent, so Lent's definitely over. So, if, Hannah, can you imagine any of our ladies and gentlemen giving up fabric for Lent, Hannah? I don't think that's possible. You might have done. You might have done. Right, okay, that's that. Oh, they've all gone now. They've all gone. Then I've got two more Marys. Well, ah! I was going to say one's Marisol and one's not, isn't it? Okay, but hang on. So, I've got Marisol on its own. I've got happy days on its own, but then I've got two happy days in a bundle. We've got it. So now I had this one yesterday, and the, what I was allocated yesterday sold out. I know. How many? Half of today's allocated stock has gone already. It's six ninety nine for half a metre. Large floral print. I'm going to hold it up for you. I did this yesterday because we used this in... Um, wasn't the pajama show? It was Clive's dress show yesterday, wasn't it? We used this, and it's so what we had just they sold out. Look, <sighs> love it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? No, I was just so I wasn't hiding. I was just reading those messages coming in. That's all. Oh, according to Google, Paul, you're right. According to Google, it was the first of April. So the last day of Lent, yeah, yeah, that's Lent, that's Lent. But when's, when do you allow to eat your Easter egg? You see, I think your Easter... Oh, there you go, last night at midnight. Yeah, last night, that's right. So you eat your Easter eggs on the Monday. Or well, is it funny, because other people have Googled it, it says the 1st of April. What date is it today? It's 
the third or the fourth. Anyway, I, oh, I thought it was, I always thought Easter eggs were Easter Sunday because you always had your Easter egg hunts on Easter Sunday afternoon, didn't you? I don't quite understand why, why they're Easter eggs. Do you know what I mean? It's not, you know, if you're celebrating something to do, you know, I don't understand. I should, I did REO level as well. I should know these things, shouldn't I? Yeah, and rabbits, Easter rabbits and things. Anyway, mind you, it's Valentine's Day, it's got nothing to do with love, has it really? So, This is 7.49, this is Happy Days in crisscross floral black. I'm sure that's not what Michael Miller called it. Yeah. Seven forty nine. This is for half me. Two hundred percent cotton. Machine washable. Forty four inches wide. Beautiful quilting weight. I mean, you can use it for dressmaking as well, or cushion, or homes, or anything you like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm a bit hungry today because I, I didn't have a proper breakfast again. No, I haven't got a chocolate bunny. I only bought them for you. I didn't buy one for myself. I've got flowers, but I'm not going to eat those, am I? I've had way too much. Like I said, Margaret bought me this fabulous hamper, and they've, I've eaten all of that. Jane Alcott bought me an Easter egg. I've eaten that. Davinia bought me an Easter egg. I've eaten all that. Oh, I've got my Terry chocolate orange. And I haven't got to work tomorrow, have I? I'm not here anyway tomorrow, so it doesn't matter if I have chocolate. I, 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 my cough, you see, it's... Uh, my, I'm not back at your maker for a while, but Wayne says you're going to do me a diamond hour, a diamond day. Um, no, no, uh, the lab-grown ones. Yeah, they're not fake. It's real diamond grown in a laboratory. Anyway, that's by the by. Fourteen ninety-eight. Happy days. Now this is a bundle, so you get half meter of the pink, half meter of the white. Um. And if you buy two, they they already come. They've already been cut. So you get if you buy two, you get two of those. And you get two of those. Exactly the same as the black we just had by Michael Miller, but in the white and the pink. Willow says the Easter bunny normally arrives the night of Easter Eve. Has been known to come round about midnight on the morn or the morning of Easter Sunday. There you go. So it is Easter bunny on Sunday. We could have our Easter eggs when we got back from morning service on Easter Sunday. Thank you, Anne. I thought it was that. I thought that's what it was. You're not supposed to eat. Because I, I did text Jane Alcott going, thank you for Easter egg. It was delicious. And she was like, have you eaten it already? And I was like, yeah. It was lovely. It was sea salt and something else. It was, oh, oh, it was delicious. It was um, a, a dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, everything free. It was delicious, though. Georgina says, I thought the Easter egg was a sign of rebirth and was eaten on Easter Sunday to celebrate the rise in Christ. Right, Georgina, that's kind of what I thought as well, but I didn't want to say, because I was like, because we're so multi-faith, I don't want to be, you know, to me. Easter Saturday is normally the last day of Lent. There you go. There you go. Oh, no, in Lent. No, no, on Sundays in Lent, you can break your, break your Lent, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, these are beautiful. 14.98. When will our Easter eggs from the management arrive, do you think? Do you think Haley will come in with Easter eggs for us today? What, the egg? Oh, apparently the egg is symbolising the rolling away of the stone. I find it all, I find it all fascinating. When I, I, I did, do you know what, I did RE, this is going to sound really wrong now, but I did RE O level because I didn't want to do like metalwork and woodwork. And I absolutely loved it. I think it was because we had a really good teacher as well. And I got, a, I got an A in my O level, got an A in my O level, you know, top grade in my O level for it. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fascinating because it was all about that kind of real people. Do you know what I mean? I just loved it. I loved it. Anyway, we did the New Testament. We did the New Testament. Right, where am I going next? Can I go to calendar candle mats or not? No, 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 not yet. Oh, Haley says we've got to do the little wooden buttons next. Not Hannah. Haley said that. Right, which one do you want to do first? Butterflies and flowers first. 
These are little wooden buttons. Yeah, guess how much these are. Oh, it's in already. 89p. Yeah, Pauline, Easter Sunday. Yeah, thank you. I've got, I've eaten all mine. So I've, brilliant price. Brilliant. Now, you know the aubergine one I kept finding on my landing? I've hoovered it up. It's gone. I didn't do it on purpose. The aubergine got hoovered up. Oh, sorry, vacuum, not hoovered. No, I've got a Miele, Miele or something. Yeah, oh yeah. But the only thing I don't like is I bought it from John Lewis's and I said, does it come in any other colour? And she went, no, just hospital white. And it's like this kind of like off calico colour. It's not the most attractive. But I do love, it's got a great big tyre track around it. So if it bangs into the, anything like the furniture or the, um, uh, what are they? Uh, skirting boards, things like that. Bounces off, doesn't damage it and it doesn't mark the skirting boards. Anyway, moving on. Well, when, Paul, when you've got as many rooms as I have. Exactly. Right, what's next? Oh, the aubergine's coming up in a minute. Right, sorry. Uh, the spring one, which is which one? Here you go, plant pop. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself. I've got two butterfly ones. Okay, right one now. Yeah, you can embroider the stems or just sew it to Janice's cushion. Oh, Georgina bought some before it, so she had to buy more. Eighty nine P for lovely little wooden buttons. Wow, they're flying out next. Vegetables. How many of these have we got? I'm going to get the aubergine back in my house. So you get a strawberry, a turnip, an aubergine, a carrot. Oh, that's a chubby carrot. They've got a name, haven't they, those little fat carrots? Thank you, Chantilly carrots. Chantilly even. Um, what's that? And that, that's a pumpkin, or is that a tomato? Tomato, strawberry, turnip, carrot, aubergine. No, that's tomato because it's got the, the tomato thing at the top there. Is that a pear? It's a pear or a lemon, isn't it? Because pears don't normally have a dimple at the bottom, do they? <laughs> I like that word. Dimple, a dimple on the bottom. Yeah, it looks a bit sad, doesn't it, the turnip? Look. Oh, now you said that, so just a strawberry. They're all looking, they're all looking at me now. There we go, 89p, how dare you. Aww. Okay, and then I've got one more wooden. Uh, I've got a wasp and a ladybird. Your little bugs in this one. No, there's a, there is. Is it a bee or a wasp, the one on the top? Look. No, that's not a butterfly. No, it's got yellow, yellow and black stripes on it. Oh no, the ladybird's like a pe the pizza ladybird, that one. Moving on. Uh, we've got ladybird buttons. Oh no, hang on, I'm jumping ahead. What are you eating, Hannah? I'm surprised there's any of that rabbit left. Here you go. Ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire. Yeah, do it again now. 2 99 these are. Message from Kate. John, you've changed your shirt. Why? I've missed some of the programme, sorry, Katie. Yes, this, this shirt was bought for me by Janice when she was in Canada last visiting family. And she accused me last time we worked together of never wearing it. So I brought it in today and surprised her in the last hour with it. And I, in the last break, I didn't have time to change because there was too much going on. Next, come on, come on, God. I want to do candle mat because I think this looks lovely. I've not seen this, right? So, applique 12 months of fast, fun and fusible wool projects. 
Oh, hang on. There's the instruction booklet and full-size patterns in here. The upstairs camera's very blurred. I'm ever so sorry. 19.99. I'm going to turn it over. Look! So you've got Easter eggs, sunflowers, Christmas trees, autumn leaves, chickens, hearts, butterflies, uh, pumpkins, apples, flowers, snowmen. I'm not quite sure what... Is that just stars and stripes, do you think? Yeah, let's, uh, let's open it and have a look. Oh, I don't want to rip the packet. Oh, someone's had this open already. Here we go. Right, so I'll show you those in a minute. Right, so this is the little booklet. Oh, look. January, snowmen and snowflakes. February, sweet valentine. March. I'll just wait. March tweets, April bunny hop, May tulips, June just buggy, July sparkler, oh, August sunflowers, September an apple a day, oh they're not in order, that's why I'm confused, um, October pumpkins, November scattered leaves, December's holiday trees. So let's have a quick look. So there you go, there's all your stitches, applique, oh look. Nice, aren't they? So you got your snowmen, you got, oh look, hug me, cutie pie, love you, sweetheart, be mine, say yes. Oh, they're like the sweets, which are different now, aren't they? Yeah, they've got emojis on and things now. They've come up to date, haven't they? There's your tweets, candle mat. Then you've got your bunny hop there for Easter. Bunny hop, bunny hop. Tulips. Uh, just buggy. Oh, I see ladybirds and... Oh, what's that? Is that a caterpillar? What's that? Yeah, don't pick it up with bare hands if you've got that in your garden. Then we've got sparkler for July. That must be July the 4th, is it then? Oh, it's Hannah's birthday. August, sunflowers. What was mine then? Hang on. Oh, did I have the bugs on mine? <laughs> no. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the I've got the bugs and Paul's got bunnies. Okay, it's Paul's birthday in 23 days. He'll be 40, 39. Apples, uh, apple a day. Then we've got the pumpkins, happy pumpkins, um, and then autumn scattered leaves. That's nice, isn't it? Not quite sure what that leaf is there, mind you. Oh, they're acorns. Oh, I can see it now. I can see it now. Sorry. Why is it in scattered leaves then? Yeah. Well, where's the conkers? Holiday trees. And there they are. There's about the author, Kim Schaefer. Began sewing at an early age. Okay, right. Then, look what you get. Are these, um, they're not iron-on templates, are they just placement? I've not seen this book before, hang on. No, trace it, trace it. You have to trace them. They're not, they're not, they're, they're templates, but they're not, um, look, they're not, they're not iron on transfers. They're just templates for you to put them on. That's May, obviously, then. That, I love that. How much is that? 19.99. I love that. It's not even two pounds a pattern, is it, that one? Okay, moving on. What's next? Right. What are we doing first? Right, we've got a few living in loveliness patterns now. Not They're not the kits. They're just the patterns sewn with scraps. I've got what, sorry? Pinwheel quilts, that's here. Okay, so, tells you what fabrics you needed, what backing you need, and everything. This is the pin wheel quilt. Okay, $9.99 is your pattern price for this. No, your price for this pattern. Um, I'm going to open this one. Oh, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Sorry. 
7.99. I don't know why that happened. I've got no idea. So it's not 9.99, it's 7.99. Oh. <laughs> Did it make noise? Did it make noise? At jewelry maker there's no noise, but then they, when they put the clock in, there's a noise for the clock. Um, and I watched when on um, Gems, because we're all sister channels, right? On Gems, they did a, a going to the races and they had little horses and everything in theirs. Oh, they had eggs for Easter, did they? You will pay $7.99 for this pattern. No, there's no noise. There's no noise on the. Dr dr yeah. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. So you get two pounds off that because it's Easter Sunday. I'm not going to open all of them. Don't worry. That one's fantastic for any fabrics, isn't it? You can make a draw. Oh, do you know what? Any of the fabrics. Uh, do you know what would be nice? In the, you know the blues we had yesterday? The lapis. Do that with all the lapis fabrics from yesterday. It would be stunning, wouldn't it? Because then you could use your stripes where the white is and then all the other blues. Okay, moving on. Next one. Oh, now is that going to happen on everyone? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Next. Okay, right, hang on. Some of them have got numbers on. Two, three, four... One. Right, let's do Katie Envelope Cushion Cover next. I've never seen half of these. Well, I've only worked with Kerry once, that's why. It is just the pattern. On the website, they've used a picture of the kit. It's just the pattern. You don't get any fabrics or anything like that. Right, $9.99. Is it going to do it again or is it staying at $9.99? Ray! Paul's getting very excited doing all sounds and two pounds off, seven ninety nine. Beautiful, living in loveliness. The Katie envelope cushion cover, never been this price before. Got all that you need, all the fabrics you need, everything you need to do the project. It's twenty by twelve inches. At seven ninety nine. Beautiful. Right now, the next one is pretty presents. One nine two. Pull oh, that's forever, forever away. <laughs> Sorry, everyone at home. You do this, I need some water. Crash. If you checked out while it's 9 99 you won't pay 9 99 If you checked out right at the beginning or on pre-order, you will not pay 9 99 You'll pay 7 99 Uh, I told you, pretty presents. You need got the Emily, which is a, a a ruby and a Karen. Doesn't actually say what they are, so I've got to open this one. Mm -hmm. Right, so the Emily. It's a super cute, elegant, fast and easy to up bag to put presents in. Then the um, Ruby is a fabric bag complete with handles. And then the Hannah is a bottle bag. Oh, where's the name? He doesn't put the name on it. Oh, there it is, Karen, Karen. String bag for a bottle of wine, Toblerones, or other tall sweets. Or unusually shaped gifts. <laughs> 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 
Toblerone, wine bottle, uh, yeah, a uh, uh, prim turner, the iron finger, a uh, pair of scissors, a uh, bottle of Best Press, some sanitizer. <laughs> Yeah, that, it's Hannah's 30th birthday this year. So she, we're all wondering what she wants for her birthday. So there's no gift list yet. She does not want a bottle of sanitizer in a bottle bag. So, so you know her mum is coming to, in the garden this afternoon to, just to kind of have, because uh, we're allowed and they haven't seen each other and everything. She said to Hannah on the phone, so, have you, have you got cutlery or do I have to bring it with me? Hannah's only lived in the house for four years. The, mu the mum, Shazza, has been so many times. But do you need me to bring some cutlery? Next one is sewn with scraps. So organised, this one. So this one you get a scissor keeper. You get pin cushions. Galore. Crash. E oh, it hasn't worked. E no news on Vicky yet, June. No, she's not at Greg's. Janice's mum is right about a dress takes less time to make something knitting. Tracy, you a bit behind everyone else reading, reading that out. <laughs> I spent two hours prepping a pattern on the floor, finally ready to do some sewing. Oh. 7 99 7.99. I think your mum's missed you though, that's what it is. 7.99, moving on. So now we've got, uh, this one is called So Handy. So this one's a tissue holder. This one's got um, little pockets for your scissors and your tape measure and your zip. Oh, no, not, what's that? It's not zip. That's not a zip. Threads. What's that one? Ooh. 7 99 It was about. Uh, was it? Oh, yeah, key fob. Mi oh, it's a mirror case. That one's a mirror case. Oh! Oh, that was frightening, wasn't it? Oh, the ca all the cameras are stuck now. There we go. Oh, that frightened me a little bit. Was it me making the noise? Okay, yeah, it was a special Paul crash, that one. And then last but not least, so delicious. So this one is a bowl cosy and a mug rug. Now, why is that? That's not even hot food in there. I thought you had a bowl cosy if your food was hot. They're Cheerios. I, I used to love cornflakes with hot milk on. I found it the most comforting food. Ooh. Yeah, what's Paul going to do this time to make it even more? $7.99. Oh. Because you're all having spring, you're all having spring, you're having lamb for your lunch today. Where did that come from? Yes! Anyway, $7.99. Loving the tension special effects. Stuart, it wasn't a special effect. Paul kicked the plug. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I'm surprised you could reach, Paul. No. $7.99. Right, okay, I've got to move on. Come on, come on, come on. I've got, lo I've got loads of things still to do and I haven't got much time, look. Next one. Rainbow, 
Rainbow scissors. Let me just take that. I'm just going to take that off there. Let's hear it for the Rainbow Tour. It's been an incredible success. We weren't quite sure. We had a few tats. Would Avida win through? But the answer is yes. Right, here you go. Rainbow scissors. Evita, Evita, it's when she goes on the, when she goes on the train. Yeah? Oh, Madonna should so have, that was, I felt so awful for her. Because I sh I, she should have been up for, a, she should have been up for an Oscar for that performance. But anyway, 1999 these are. Yours will come with a little, I've just taken that off so that you can just see the scissors. So you get, like, it's electro magno plated. Look at the colours there. Now these are matte. And these are, Susan, no, they're matte finish, and the, <laughs> these are shiny. <laughs> it's my own little joke. Matte and shiny. Anyway, well, matte, because they're a matte finish, you see. They're, they're not called matte. At 19.99. Now, who was it messaging? Oh, no, she got the rose gold one yesterday. Somebody messaged yesterday, didn't they, say? Saying they, they wanted the rose gold ones for ages. They got it. They just treat themselves. 1999. Why? Okay. 1999. Oh, here we go. Anna wanted those. But didn't we have another one? Right, we'll do that in the next one then. Right, moving on to the other uh, rose gold scissors now. I'm just going to take this off. There you go. 1999. These are the rose gold ones. Huh? Oh, hang on. They've got pins and a thimble in this one. You don't get the stalk scissors, though. You get lovely, um, ornate Victoriana scissors in this one. 1999. Oh, Jeanette, where's Jeanette live? West Sussex. Oh, Brighton, that's West Sussex, Brighton, where is it? She said um, she's very hungover after a cocktail party in the garden with five friends yesterday, but I'm making her feel better. Do you know what? We had the, Hannah was like that yesterday, right? She'd only been round to our friend Karen. So she, there was her and Karen in the garden, right? She hadn't had any food. She got there, Karen said, would you like some food? She said, no, I'm being healthy. So then she drank a espresso martini followed by an April spritzer, which is Prosecco and like an orangey spirit thing. The two did mix, did not go well together. Anyway, so she was really hungry. No, that's what I said she didn't eat, she was being healthy. Exactly. Well, there was oranges. Well, yeah, but, you know, you can't, you've got to remember there's been a year. I've treated myself to Matt and Susan. <laughs> They're beautiful. From Kate. Oh, thank you, Kate. They are beautiful. Oh, OK, I'll take that back. I was going to say, it's been a year since she's been out in the pub drinking, but she's drunk more this year than she's ever drunk in her whole life, apparently. So, And her mum's watching, so that's good, isn't it? Right, next. I've got, I've got to go. Oh, well, I don't play in this hour. I'll play in the last hour, don't worry. Best press? No, right, I showed you this at 8 o'clock this morning. You only get the one. You only get the one. That's how yours will arrive. And that's it. Right. Uh, please be careful, because more than half of these went... Oh, yeah, let's see this new one. Oh! No, I don't like that. 11 99 Mary Ellen's best press. This is lavender with vanilla. I know. Lavender with vanilla. Now, they always sells out. Oh, hang on. The rose gold set. Oh, right, Hannah. This is important. The rose gold set comes up under two different item numbers, but with the same picture. Are they the same? Oh, it's the same posters. as they're just two deliveries. Thank you for letting us know, though, Pauline. 11 99 
Okay, so Pauline, Pauline, the reason that happened is they're exactly the same product, but they're from two different suppliers and they have to have different codes. So that's why you'll see on the website, one's got one code, exactly the same product, exactly the same price, exactly the same everything else. All that will happen is that one will have, you know the band that I took off, they've both got different bands on them, that's all. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, Pauline, I, I don't need the code. It's, it's right, we know, we know. They're from different, um, they're different um, suppliers. 11.99. Now, please be careful on this because more than half the stock. Yours will be full, obviously. This is the one that Wendy Orlando uses. Eleven ninety nine. They're exactly the same thing, no matter which code you've used, Pauline. She says thank you, Hannah. Okay, let's move on. Oh no, let's go for a break, shall we? Uh, we've got the Beth Dudley pods coming up now. There's the tall pods and the short pods. We've got both patterns available on their own. We've got a bundle with both patterns in, and. Uh, we've got four or five different um, fabric bundles. Janice, oh, here you go. Janice is making this shape. But there is a pattern for this shape as well. Just depending on what you want. Now, this is the one that Beth sent in a picture of a little pussycat sitting in that one. And then Hannah would put onion, an onion in hers. I might put an Easter egg in mine. Oh, I wonder what that noise was. It's Janice. Uh, we'll see you straight after this break. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. 
It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Uh, now, the best study patterns are selling already, so I better do those straight away. We're making the pods. Oh, let's have a look a quick picture of them, first of all. Right, now, there, there's two different versions. So if we see the tall, oh, the small one first. That's the back of it there. And then the tall one. Now, they look uh, they look the same size. There you go. So there's the tall one and the short one. I have both. One's called storage and one's called bubble. I've got the bundle of both of them, if you want them both, first of all. This is what's selling the, the best so far. We've never bundled the patterns together before because they were two completely different shows because that was um, Jules Mayouf and that one was... Who made the first one? I can't remember who made the first one. It was what? You made the, like the, we called like the big round one afterwards. We did this one first, then you did the big round one, then we did this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So uh, both patterns together, £12.99. £12.99 £12 for both of those together. I have got them individually as well, if you want them individually. You might already have got the pods, or you might already got the storage. Oh, the bubble or the storage pods, you might have already had them. So um, uh, you, might, you might want to just buy one of them. I'm sitting, EPPing triangles, wasn't paying attention because you were making me laugh. So I've just had to pick my very untriangles. Uh, shows are great this morning, might need to invest in the pods. I've not said anything funny, have I, Norma? Yeah, she was watching something else, yeah, watching something else. Paul said, what would, what, what would I say that was funny, Norma? He doesn't understand. He hasn't got our sense of humour. <laughs> Mind you, red trainers he has. Right, I haven't, still haven't seen them. I still haven't seen them, still haven't seen them. I haven't seen them, Paul, so don't take offence. Right, storage pods, bubble pods, both those together. Oh, they've gone. Right, which one's next? Storage pod for, on its own. Yeah. 650. Love from Beth. Now these are 11 inches high, 6 inches wide, and this is one you're going to see Janice make in the show today. Uh review. Uh top quality, 
well-written pattern from a fantastic designer bought to us very affordably by Sewing Street from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. She doesn't work here. She doesn't work here. <laughs> 650. So that's the pattern for your storage pods there. Christine says, looking forward to making these pods for my sewing room. They are so useful that they could be used all around the house. Uh, sorry, it's only because they're, they're on a slight angle here. I can't... Do what? Oh, did she? Anna saw that lady's review yesterday as well. Okay. Oh, the review was yesterday. The review was yesterday. She didn't show it yesterday. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fabric bundles. So the one that Janice has already used. Oh, you didn't put the little pods through. Sorry. I had it out, though. It was just Hannah didn't. Yeah. Sorry. This is the small pods now. The bubble pods. Which is the same techniques as you're going to see today, but we're just not going to show this one today. But actually, what was the first? Oh, you might not be able to see it because we, did we do the pattern on its own the first time? What day did they with these demonstrated the first time? Oh, she just sneezed into her mask. Oh, oh no. Hay fever started. <laughs> It's a hay fever. Uh, we, all three of us have all started our hay fever. 29th of December. And who was it? Did it say there next to it? Okay. Oh, no, I've got my new, my new supply of my, my amazing... I told Paul about the, the tablets that I take and uh, he went to the doctors because it's prescription only and they're absolutely brilliant. I've had hay fever all of my life, right? all of my life. And these are the first pills. I've actually been able to plant a rose garden now in my garden because I couldn't have roses or anything smelly in the garden because it would just affect me. So now these new pills are amazing. Anyway, mm. there we go. Right, so the bundles, um, the one that Janice has used already to do the sample ones is this one. Now, uh, this is Christopher Wilson, isn't it, these fabrics? Goes with the elephant. So you get half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the cream, half a metre of the brick red. Sorry, I'll put them into shot. Yeah, did I say giraffe? Or did I say elephant? Sorry, it's a giraffe print. Uh, so you get the blue, the cream. There's no giraffes on this one. This was the one that went with it. But these are beautiful. Christopher Wilson, if you don't know, Christopher Wilson Tate is a, he collects vintage um, quilts. And then he designs his own quilts and quilt fabric around them and everything. So it's very, very traditional. So you get a half metre of the blue, half metre of the cream, half metre of the brick red. I'm not sure if the brick red is his as well, is it? I don't think that was part of it, was it, Hannah? Yeah, it was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I don't remember that one. So you've got three fabrics from the same collection there. Okay, twenty-one ninety-nine. Then the one Janice is going to demonstrate with is this one. I love this yeah. fabric, and you love this yeah. fabric, yeah. don't you? This is called Flower Talk. I couldn't read that. I couldn't see it said talk. So you get half, look at the richness of that That's colour. Beautiful. You get half a metre of it on the purple, half a metre of it on the ivory. Oh, I don't know which one I like best. I know. See, I was immediately going to go for the purple one, and then I saw that one. It's lovely, isn't it? Plus you get... Half a metre of the pa pale blue, shush you two, pale blue, 17.99. No, 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 it's constant. You were having a good old chin wag in there, that was all. <laughs> yeah, but to each other, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, they're so sensitive, Janice, aren't they? <laughs> Don't give them chocolate, that's what I say. No, Maxim, I like <laughs> So that's when you're going to see Janice uh, demonstrating. Right, this, I've got two Liberty. Now, remember, Paul, you said about earlier, Cosmos. The seeds, these are Cosmos. Oh, in fact, that's Cosmos as well. But anyway, which bundle would you like to say? This one. Oh, okay, we've called this red for some reason. 
It's all pink. It's all pink. There's no red in there at all. So please don't think it's you're getting a red one. So you get half a metre of this one. So you get half a metre of this one. You get half, now, obviously, that's Liberty. This is Liberty. This is Rose and Hubble, just so you know. I don't want you to think they're all three are Liberty. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. So you get the cosmos in the dark pink, you get the pale pink and orange in there, and then the pale pink half metre of Rose and Hubble, £17.99. Very popular, that bundle. Even if you're not making the best uh, pods, they're a lovely bundle to have to do other things with, aren't they? Really deep, rich pinks in there. Then the other Liberty bundle is this one. What colour have they called this one? Oh, there is blue in this one. So you get half a metre of the Liberty, half a metre of the Liberty, half a metre of the Rose and Hubble. 70, that's Rose. This is 17 99 for the whole bundle. I love this. I've got this fabric at home, this one. In fact, I've got both of these. Yep. They're Cosmos Meadow, that's called. And then I can't remember what this one was called. Oh, it's we've cut it off. Oh no, Little Vine. Not Little Paul, Little Vine. <laughs> wow. And then you've got your Rose and Hubble Rose there. Beautiful. I've got one more bundle. Oh, I thought there was another one. I've got one more bundle to show you. Right, so this one's got the stripe. This is Michael Miller. So you get the stripe. Then you get the, now, what colour do you call that one? Is that crimson? No. I want to call it crimson, but I don't know what it's called. Now, this is an unusual one to put in. Claret, that's it. I knew it was a C. This is Born to Sew uh, for Michael Miller. This has got all your... You see now, it could be... Oh, we're not going to see this one made up, no. are we? It'd be interesting how that one works, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to dart, because it's all darted, isn't it? So you might lose yeah. a bit of that. I love the fact that it's all squares. But anyway, it's up to you. It might look amazing. But I love that fabric because you get all the lovely little... Um, where's the... We've got some beautiful ones on there. Look, you've got the sewing machine, your sewing basket. Yeah, you've got your pocket there. You've got your patchwork. Anyway, let's maybe, go on. Maybe you'd make that with the bigger darts because there's more darts on the little parts. Oh, so use this one on so the I bigger one. So I'd choose that on the one where there's only five darts. Oh, yes, maybe, because yeah. the little one's got darts going the, all yeah, the way around. Yeah, small darts. Yeah. yeah. But if you're right, the so, big one, I'd make that one. So I've, uh, <laughs> the only other thing I've got to show you here is I've got a packet of sewing machine needles. Always handy to have. Oh, oh yes, of course. Oh yes, of course. I've got to talk to you about interfacing in a second. Well, this is not on the table. So that's one pound forty-nine. Okay. Then I've also got the. Hey. Oops, a daisy. Look, these. I will put them back. Nineteen ninety-nine. You get fifty. 50 of them in there. Oh, these would be brilliant living in a pod, wouldn't they? Just dip your hand <laughs> in and help yourself to have one. Ideal in a pod. In fact, let me get one. Oh, no, I can't reach around. There's one here behind me. There's yeah. one here. I can't take that one. Can't take that one. <laughs> it's not a goose. <laughs> a goose Anna's gone. looking for a golden goose. No, you're looking for a goose that lays the golden eggs. That's what you're looking for, not a golden goose. <laughs> right, there we go. See, how cute would that be in your workroom with your little... Um... Yeah, I do. Oh, on the overhead, there you go. Anna's going to use hers in the kitchen. She's got garlic in one, onions in another. And was, what was the third thing you were, Oh, ginger. Ginger in the other one. Right, let me just tell you about the interfacing that we've used. I haven't got any here. I just need to show you by pictures. Eighty twenty cotton wadding. This is the smallest package. Oh, it doesn't show you at all. This is what it looks like. This is what Janice is using in the demo now. 10.99. Now you do get 45 inches by 60 inches, which is a lot, but you always want it for your stash, don't you? 
the, we normally sell that by the half meter, but it's sold out at the moment. We're just waiting for a new stock to arrive. If you don't want the 80-20 cotton, two ounce poly wadding if you want to. Now I think, it, did they have two ounce poly wadding in the ones you've made, Janice, the ones at home? You know the pods you've just made? You didn't say. No, no, no. What did you use in the one at home? The ones you made at home? Yeah. I'll use this. Oh, use that as well? Yeah, sorry, I that. thought you used a different one. Yeah, right, no, sorry. No, 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 that no that's fine. So that's one you used. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So there's a poly wadding one. We've got a picture of that one, sorry. There it is. And then H640 would be another one you could possibly use. Oh, we haven't got any. No, we haven't got any H640. All right, Janice. Get on. My turn. Your turn. Nice. Okay. So, as Beth... She really does explain the pattern really well and it's easy to follow and you could make these again with children or... Mm -hmm. I've got to think about children. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> I like makes for kids and keeping them... I mean, Amy used to have the art attack room upstairs in our loft oh. and everything. And we used to spend hours up there. So, yeah, I'm all for that. So. Perfect. But, yeah, so you follow everything as it is. Um, she actually, with the main pieces, you join them. We sell a tape. Okay, tape so this like is your this, pattern piece. And that's your pattern piece. Right. I'm and if you look, look I mean, that. I know. <laughs> well, what? I know, because what I did this morning, I pressed on it by accident, I forgot another oh, just sell put your a tape on it. So I hide that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so there are two pattern pieces you have so to sell a tape pe together. Yeah, that you tape together right. by joining the black notches in the middle. That's okay. how she does it, which is really good. S explains folds and everything like yeah. that on the pattern, which is really good. Perfect. So what you do, you cut out the one piece, okay? And then what you have to do with the other one, the other piece, the outer side, what, is make it. Okay, the one you're making, is it going to be purple on the outside or yeah, white on the outside? that's going to be the outer side. And the, the white one's your inside? It's going to be the inside. Okay. But what you have to do, when you actually cut it out, you don't cut out the dots to begin with, you just actually cut out it as a whole. Okay, like has so it got seam allowance on it or do you have to add seam allowance You add a quarter of an inch all the way around. All the way around, yeah. okay. But on the outer lining, what you've got to be careful of, you have to add on three quarters of an inch because that's going to be acting as a binding. binding. Okay, so outside. just show me. Put your put, so, I know you can't because I know you've melted your pattern piece. I Where know. did you add your three quarters? So I it? added it. Well, what they do, they get you. What she does, she gets you to cut out the lining. Hang on a sec, go on, Jenny. So, she yeah. gets you to cut out the lining. Right, which is the right the right size. Yeah, and then she gets you to add it on to the one side of it's the only other one. On the one side, right. not on both. So you cut your lining okay. fabric out to the size cut of the, the pattern with the quarter the of the inch the seam allowance. Yeah. And then you take that piece of fabric, yeah. put it on the purple fabric, yeah. cut exactly the same thing out, yeah. but on one end, but on it one matter end, which end, no, you, you add, add three, three quarters, quarters of an inch. inch. And that acts as, as you're binding, as you're Perfect. closing it Thank up, you. okay? Yeah. So then once you've done those two, yeah. and this is why you don't do your darts yet, because you're going to quilt it. Oh, okay. And this is what the one is right. for, okay. okay? Yeah. So, and what's happening, because you're doing the binding, you're actually placing the right side's facing you. Like like a quilt sandwich then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you've got that side like so. Yeah. And then that side like so. Right. So and just you'll lift have it up. The, so the purple one at the bottom. And then you'll have that overlapping. Yeah. So the purple one at the okay. bottom has got the right side a touch in the table. There you go. Yeah, touch the table. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So then what you've got to do, you've got to quilt it. Now, the way she does it on here is with wavy lines. Right. So I'm just going to now neaten it up and I've got my wonder clips yeah and I'm going to just hold them in place together now in the pattern she actually she uses the actual um safety pins the quilter pins oh yeah 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 the, the banana the pins those yeah yeah uh, but I found wonder clips I have got the safety yeah. pins but I use the wonder clips Oh, now look, this is funny. Place. I just mentioned that we've all taken our antihistamines because Hannah's just sneezing away. Jackie says she's just had to take hers. And Alison Marion said, um, 
Mike has got my coat of the half. He, he's got some hay fever meds I mentioned and he's from the doctors and he's going to start trying them today. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. They're really good. And Carol says, good morning, happy Easter to everybody. Thank you, Carol. So, you know, I've never suffered hay fever, but Martin does. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's not nice at all. And, and, and you're only supposed to get it for seven years. Oh, are you? Yeah. No, no, I've had it for. How old, Mike? 61 years. 60 years. Blooming, eh? Uh, I don't know. The doctors don't know. You're only supposed to get it in seven years. So all my brothers and sisters all had it for seven years. Disappeared. But what happened with you then? Oh, Janice, what did oh, happen with me? One what did happen with me? Where should we start that story? <laughs> he's a one-off. Yeah, the one-off. So well, yeah, reject. All I'm doing. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm just still quilting it yeah, down. Right. Just making sure that because it's got to hold in place while we're quilting it. Yeah. So now, if you use the H640, you'd be able to attach one of the layers to the H640, wouldn't you? Which will make it a little bit more stable when you did the quilting. Yeah. That'd be quite good. We haven't got any H640. It's just if you've got some in your stash. Right. So I'm just making sure it's neat. Okay. Just hold it down. And if you look, that's just lapping over. Paul's having a stressful day, I can hear him now because the camera oh, is playing up, yeah. Oh dear. That's the problem, isn't it, with the camera when it starts yeah. playing? Yeah, there's so nothing all you can do about it. No. So I always start in the middle. Right. So I always do the first line in the middle. So I'm going to just now machine it. Now again, she does say that you can use a actual um, foot for the quilting. Walking foot. Walking foot. I always forget the name of that. Yeah. The walking foot. But I found it just sailed through this. Oh, okay. So, so all I'm doing is a wavy line. Just so you can do whatever you want. You can do cross yeah. hatch. You can do whatever shape you want, can't you? So I'm just doing a wavy line. Like that. Yeah, Pauline. I'm not allowed to say what they are on air. You just send me a message. So if I just cut that off. Oh, yeah, don't call customer service team asking them about the pills either because we're not allowed to say. <laughs> so the wavy line is up to half an inch to an inch apart. Okay, no more than that. Yeah. So, just doing it quickly. So you go up and down, up and down, or are you going all from the top all just the time? From the, the top. Same? Just from the top. You each can side. do it either way, yeah. really, John. It's up to you then, so this bit is yeah. your own artistic creativity. Yeah, I'm just doing this. <laughs> just doing it. Give it a wave. <laughs> so have you got tomorrow off, Janice? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm dreading going back there. <laughs> Why? Well, I've oh, actually... Oh, end of year. I've actually implemented Sage Payroll to the company. And What's we go live on Tuesday. What does that mean? I've put all Sage payroll onto the computers. Oh. At the company. Just so if you don't know, Janice is an accountant during the week. <laughs> and not our pay, she's not doing our <laughs> pay. If you were, I'd like a pay rise, please, Janice. So where she works, she's in charge of all of that Sage pay, whatever. And uh, yeah, so I've, I've literally done it and we go live. Oh. And like the 70 staff. <laughs> and also, not only that, it's <laughs> end of year. April the 6th is the end of yeah. financial year because I've been well, doing my well, that's um, why accounts I've, That's home. why I've implemented it, you see, because oh. we used to use a bureau. Oh, is it like free... And I've free brought it in-house. Am I a free agent? Is it the thing I have to fill in for my accountant where all my... It tells... It, it, it just does it all for you as you're going along sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, but we've, we, we used to use a bureau and I've decided to bring it all in-house because it was cheaper. Yeah. Um, and now, you see, I'm responsible for it. Uh, oh no. And I'm Derek, like, oh. Derek says his hay fever vanished seven years ago when he got his kitten. Well, there you go. That's oh, then weird, again, isn't you've, it? You've got that, cats yeah. you? Uh, Sheila says, What a lovely <laughs> show this morning is. Happy Easter to you all. Janice's hair is gorgeous. Thank you. And the banter between you all is fab. You're a great team. <laughs> Sheena, I'll just send your message to the management if that's all right. <laughs> send it to management. <laughs> Okay, so I've done the one side. Yeah. So now, looking good, looking good. Fab. Yes. <laughs> I think, oh, okay. I love these projects. I really do. Oh. 
Yes, don't be dancing. Don't be doing all sexy with your machine. <laughs> you can't see what she's doing at home. She's like this. She's doing too much. I'm eating the Wonder Clips out. <coughs> see, I thought because this was quite quick, whereas the other pods I did a bit smaller. Oh, June. Uh, no. June's messaging. No pressure here, Janice. June says, I implemented Sage at my school. Easiest thing I ever did. No errors and complete control. <laughs> she can come. Yeah. <laughs> she, she can come to my place. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she can come to my place. It's all the pensions and that you have yeah. to be careful of. It's like, you know, it's... But it'll be easy... It, it, as long as I've put it Oh, you'll be right, fine, be Janice, because you know you're so thorough. I have to be. I'm a Virgo. But oh, that's my is. star sign. Oh, now, now, Janice, somebody mentioned in about star signs the other day, so Hannah decided to look up me and her. So oh, yeah. Compatible. yeah. No. But the word <laughs> signs, what we do, apparently, is we pick on each other's weak spots and tell really? the world about it. And the, what was the other thing, Hannah? There were all these things that, like, we shouldn't get on at all. Shouldn't oh, get how on funny. At all. Oh, how lovely. My mum was a Virgo. Was she? Yeah. She was little as well. That's why we get on top of it. Yeah. Ooh. Paul's a Taurus, a bull in a china shop. He's not like that, though, is he? Oh. Mm. <laughs> a bull in a china shop. A to Tommy the Toreador he is. Tommy the Toreador. They won't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It was, oh, it was Tommy Steele. Tommy Steele. There uh, you're going back. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, well, he, he lived around the corner for me. When I lived in Twickenham, he was oh, around the corner of Deacham, yeah. Gosh. He did have some day. <laughs> right, now, you do it neater because yeah, yeah, you've cut you, off yeah. all the threads. So I'm just going to, now, just go down. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly. Oh, June's a Virgo as well. The one that did the implemented the thing. I for <laughs> deal, I for detail, but very self-critical. Janice yeah. is very self-critical. Well, yeah, that's why I get annoyed when I go wrong here. Oh. So because it's when you try to be binding, does it say anything? Virgos <laughs> can't do binding. <laughs> There's always one thing in the back Oh, don't buy the sleeves. Not so the sleeves. No matter what costume or dress or anything I made, you've always the, and you get yourself. Into that mindset, I can't do sleeves, I can't do sleeves. Can't do so sleeves. you're going to make a mistake, aren't you? Yeah. Whatever you do, yeah. you're going to make a mistake if you get yourself in. And you're the same with binding. You do it at home, you're absolutely you fine. Home, you stand right. there and you just go, Yeah. anyway, that's carry true. on. Right then, so what I've done now, what you have to do is where that is overlapping, yes. you machine down exactly on the line, leaving that lapping over. Okay, like so you so. don't sew the purple extra one, but you no. sew all the others together. So again, bring that together. Yep. In fact, I'm going to trim that just to neaten it up a bit yep. without making sure I don't cut the purple underneath. Okay. Just make Gerard sure it's down. Uh, Little White Bull was Tommy's deal song. Yeah, I loved it. That's right. Bull. And the film was Tori the Tori to Tommy, Tommy the Tori Tommy. door, wasn't Little it? Little White Bull. Yeah. Right, so what you have to do, leave yeah. the flap flapping. The flappy bit. <laughs> and then you join the two together. Brilliant. But I'm going to do it at the top because the bottom can be more, you can have a bit of a scruffy yeah. bottom more so than you can at the top. Yeah. And then all you're going to do is machine down and hold them together in place. Okay. Oh, Debbie Steve Coleshill says, careful, I'm a Taurus too. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm 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 get on with Aquarians and Librans apparently. They're oh, really? my perfect matches. A perfect match. Gosh. Oh. I'm Capricorn and Pisces, I think. Oh that nobody likes on no, hang on. Well, over to here gets on with the Taurus, Paul. <laughs> What's yours, Hannah? A cancer, that's right. No, but cancer and Tauruses make a good couple, don't they? So just machine down a quarter of an inch. Do you tell again, Jen? That's it. Still got it off. Okay. And then you then fold over the flap. Oh, you do that now? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Because then you're putting the bottom on yourself. Yeah, of course, yeah. So then all you do, 
fold it in. That's yeah. the way I do it. And yeah. fold it again. And do you, did you hand stitch or do you Well, you can it hand stitch it or you can machine, machine it. it. So but I actually machined it. Okay. So if you open it out. Yeah. Okay. Now, it, on the small one, when you're doing this part, because they've, they've made the same. Yeah. To get your machine in is very tricky. Right. So what I, if you're a beginner and you're going to be doing it for the first time, I suggest you just do a hand basting stitch right. to hold it down. Yeah, because you, what you've got to do, because it won't go around the free arm, you've actually got to go in and, and along like that, making so you've sure got the, to go the in underneath is and on. Yeah. It's awkward with the machine, so just be careful on that. Tuck it in and then you're just going to hold it down. Yeah. Oh, and don't, because he's a Scorpio. Pots. Crazy Lorraine's a Scorpio. Now, Scorpios have hidden talents. Now, Scorpio's the most romantic song. Oh, well, I was going to say that, but they don't say romantic, do oh, they? They I'm say the sex, they, they, they're, they're, the, they're the sexy ones. Sexy Martin's ones. a Scorpio. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Norelle says she's in. Aquarian. I go on with you then, Norelle. Oh. Yeah, the Scorpio, Scorpions are. In, well, most sting in the tail, sign. you know what I mean? That kind of. And the sting in the tail. And they're like that as well. Yeah, <laughs> Martinis. <laughs> well, my Martinis. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, all I'm doing is with the binding, just. But you'll, again, do it neater. I'm just doing it quick. Yeah. So, and Gerardine's yeah. a Scorpio as well. Obviously, Scorpio is like collecting uh, creative grid rulers. They're like collecting what? She, she, every rulers. creative grid ruler, she's got it. <laughs> I'm just trimming this yeah. down a bit, that's all. But again, you do it a bit nicer than me. That's it. So that's what I'm going to do now, is just now machine down just that bond yeah. in there. Oh, if you don't want a machine, you can hand whip it down as well. You can hand whip it. So I'll just turn this inside a bit. So this is, if you imagine, you're going to watch Janice do this now with the long one, with the short one. It's, it's just tricky. a little bit tighter, isn't it's it? It's very tricky. Yeah. So. So take the pin out, as you get to it, a bit of a stitch, and it's going down. Danish your mushroom. But they are lovely, I oh, know. <laughs> they are lovely. <laughs> they are lovely. <laughs> you take the pins out as you go. And believe it or not, you can get to the end without having to think, oh, yeah. it does do it, you know. So... <laughs> Go. But I, I, you know, I left this fabric for the show because I thought, even though they're all nice, I thought, oh, I do like that. Yeah, no, it's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. Okay, so that's it. So if, as you can see, you could do it. Yeah, you oh yeah. See if you know what I'm saying. So take that out, turn that up, and just nicely just pull this out. And that's your binding done. Perfect. So that's the outside, well, inside at the yeah. moment. So it's as long as it's as neat on the inside as it is on the outside, that's the main thing. So that's it. So that's now, if you look, your basic shape. Yeah. But okay. there's no darts in it yet. But there's no... Oh, shoot, I should have done them first. <laughs> yeah. I should have done them first. Yeah, can you get to them without... Um... Or are you going to have to unpick it? I'm going to have to unpick it. Okay. Oh, I might dear. just recap the bundles then. Just so we don't see Janice unpicking. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the bundle of the two patterns. What's in the graphic at the moment? Oh, hang on, camera's just coming over. Twelve ninety nine. you get both patterns. The, the uh, bubbles and the storage pods. If you look on... Um, Beth Dudley's uh, Instagram, she's got a little pussycat sitting inside one of these. They don't live there, obviously. It's just there. <laughs> 12 99 uh, Which one on its own first? Storage. Uh, $6.50. Then we've got the bubble pod. These are the smaller ones. Oh, that's this one. Uh, 
In fact, oh no, it's not the one. I thought that was the one that was on the front of the cover. Isn't that weird? Terry's chocolate orange would fit in perfectly in there, wouldn't it? Oh. Anyway, uh, that's the bubble pop pattern. Right, very quickly, the, the um, bundle that Janet is working with is this one. So you get half a metre of the pale blue, half a metre of the flower talks in purple, half a metre of flower talks in cream. Oh, what's the matter? There you go. 17 99 that bundle. Even if you're not going to make best pods, that's a love. That, all of the bundles are lovely, aren't they? 17 99 Right, the one Janice made at home is... Oh! This one. You don't know what happened, but that last bundle just fell off the table. There you go. This is the one Janice made at home. This is the Christopher Wilson tape fabric. Um, from the giraffe range, isn't it? It's the giraffe range, that one. Safara was the name of the giraffe. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Okay, then uh, we've got the Liberty. Now they've called this Liberty Red. Lots in baskets. Not nothing red about it. Pink, orange, yellow, green. No reds. Seventeen ninety-nine. Um, let's do the other Liberty one. So this is Liberty Blue. So you get the blue, the cosmos, and you get the rose. You're right there, Janice. Yeah, she's fine. She's nodding. <laughs> two more bundles. Oh no, one more bundle. Sorry, I'm saying two. There's only one. There's this one here, the Michael Miller one. Born to sew. So this one with the squares on it, then you've got the ribbon-like one with we've got buttons on the pattern, and then you've got the claret. Seventeen ninety-nine. I'm just waiting to see if Janice is ready for me. Yet. You needed yesterday's. We had oh, we had the didn't we have that brilliant machine yesterday? I think what we've machine? sent it back, haven't we? Oh, you sent it back? Yeah, it's like a little, it's like the little shaver, like the beard right. trimmer, but it just unpicks all the stitches for you. Oh, well, I've had to undo the binding. Yeah, of course. And then the seam I've just done. Yeah. So it's quite, I'm just glad I've got only the five darts on it. <laughs> I feel really bad about this. I don't feel, Janice, this is the Virgo. I'll throw this fabric at this you. Yeah, exactly. Virgo, it's me putting you off, that's what it was. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take responsibility for that one. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> two faced. If I was two faced, would I have picked this one? That's why I like to say. <laughs> right, I'm there. Right, okay. Right, we're there. We're there. We're there. Oh, we're there. So sorry about that. Guys. That won't go out live, Janice. We'll edit <laughs> it, and so when it goes out, <laughs> you won't see any of that. So what happens? What you've got to do is once you've done the quilting. Yes. Once you've done the quilting. Yeah. Don't do right, anything else. You get your, your template pattern. and you cut out the darts. Right. And it shows you where they're marked. And they're just marked with a black line and you just cut into them and cut out to them. Perfect. So then what you do, you make your darts. So start by putting that in the corner and then and you do this on the lining. Yeah. Okay, so that's your one, two, three, four, five. Oh, just five over. darts on each side then. Yeah. yeah. But on the other one there's about ten. Yes. Because you're creating more of a globe on the other yeah. one, whereas this you're just making kind there's of this one cocoon just doing, shape. Right? Yeah. So again, just draw them with your marker pen, and then you do the darts. Okay. Right. Yeah. So all you do, you fold them to two lines to the outside. Now again. I'm going to go freehand, but if you want to put a pin in, yeah. so that it goes exactly as is. Yeah. But I'm going to quickly run them so that. The thing is, you're making a pod. You're not making a dress for no. somebody to wear. If you were doing a dart for a dress, you'd be more exact. You'd be very, very um, astute as to where you so. But so. You're, you're creating a pod, so. so as long as you get the general. Feel. Shape. Now, did you go from the point to the outside? Yes. Yeah. So I'll put the pit, the needle right on the point. Yeah. Down, 
and then start. Okay. Go back. And that's it. And again, third one. And if you look, you're coming along. Yeah. So again. Dawn says can't get enough of you two. <laughs> Dawn, aren't you in? Aren't you in this week? Isn't Dawn in on Tuesday? Um, I think isn't Dawn in this Tuesday? Oh, honey, Santa very stressed. You're right. You sure are. Right. Come on, so you devil. Yeah, I thought so. Dawn's in on Tuesday with her new pattern. Oh. Uh, yes, you do. She was one of the winners of... Oh, you might not do, because I've only been worked with her once. She was one of the winners of the Great British Sew-Off, or whatever we called it here, before I started yeah. here. And um, she did the iPad holder with ears on it. Which... Lovely. Because everyone's got iPads now, haven't they? Yeah. So again, yeah, with me. Yeah, I'm in on Tuesday, Dawn, yeah. Are you doing one hour or two, Dawn? Is she doing one hour or two? Oh, don't worry, Hannah, don't worry. Oh, she's doing two. She's trying to sew, but there's too much banter going on. Oh, let's shut up then. <laughs> you can't speak, Janice. It's not allowed to speak. <laughs> no, Janice is concentrating, you see, isn't she? <laughs> One, two, three, four, and then last two on here. <laughs> this is when you have to think, right, okay, get a grip, just get on with it. Yeah, get a grip, Janice, get on with it. I do love, in capital letters, the John and Janice show, says Jan. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Jan. Jan. That's so yeah, supportive. Paul, Paul says, don't worry about the sewing. No one's getting their pension in a week when your sage <laughs> doesn't work properly. I'm afraid to come undone. She's not listening, Paul. <laughs> I'm afraid to come undone now. Oh, no. Yeah. We'll do it, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, no, be... Oh. What? Um, you're going to try and use the threads, aren't you? No. Oh, no. I can't. I haven't got time. OK. <laughs> I ain't got time. <laughs> right, OK. Maybe it's that last star. Okay, the bundle of patterns, the bundle of two patterns. Now we have so many of these. The bundle of two patterns is there's only 20 <laughs> left now. Did you just shush me? Ah? Did you no. Just shush me? No, I didn't. Sorry. Shush. No. I wouldn't shush you. No, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't. <laughs> I'm here to tell you how many bundles. Shush, John. Shush. Stop telling them how many bundles. Shush. I'm trying to sew. Shush. <laughs> Shush you. I wouldn't do that to you. It's a cut your threads thing. Right. <sighs> oh, and then you do the scene, do you? Yes. <laughs> Shut if, up, I if I didn't need that, I'd throw it at you. Yeah, I bet you would. Right. <laughs> so again, we're going to do the seam, do the binding, as quick as we can. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. You can have a laugh, haven't you? You'd only cry. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to do that again. Jan's you know making I'm... a memory bear and she's lost one of the legs or one of the feet. Who? Oh, the machine feet, not the teddy bear's feet. <laughs> I thought you meant the teddy bear's foot, not the sewing machine foot. Now, where have you put the feet? You should always put them away, Jan, after you finish using them, then you wouldn't be lost. You wouldn't be lost. <laughs> yeah, why did you buy one of the storage tops from the first hour? <laughs> nice. Right, so we're now sewing the seam, but without the purple flappy yeah, bit. Yeah, without the yeah. purple flappy bit. Feels like a deja vu now, doesn't it? <laughs> Been there, done it, got the T-shirt. I would never tell right. you off, Paul. <gasps> but you are in that now. Paul thinks I tell him off all the time. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't know what telling off is, obviously. Right, OK, that's that done. Yep. Then you fold the binding over. Then you fold it down. And get to where we were. Quick. Right. Pin it. Can you what? Oh, pin it. I thought pin you said, it. can you? 
It's sad because it, when we, we, we first started with together, I'd be over there with you, being, you I know. Know, helping and everything. Telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> In a lovely way. Yeah, now she tells me to shush while I'm trying to talk. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. So I'm, I'm going to watch YouTube later. I've got a message from Julie. <laughs> <laughs> across my bottom. Hi, John. I've adapted this pod, made it uh, bigger into a peg bag, which ooh. hangs on the line with an S hook. I would show you, but someone has just <laughs> lost the shed keys. Oh, Julie, um, who's lost the shed keys? Gotta be the obby. <laughs> yeah. I am. Um, Crazy Lorraine made me the most gorgeous um, peg bag. It's a Tudor really? peg bag. It's like a cylinder, a, a, a triangular cone, all yeah. built in and everything. But I don't have a washing line, right? So I was like, what can I do? So I've moved my office upstairs in my house now. Yeah. And every time I get receipts, I have the, the peg bag hanging at the bottom of the stairs. Yes. So I put all my receipts, all receipts and everything in there. Ready for the and then when I go upstairs, to, I just take it all up with me. It's brilliant. And That's it looks great. lovely because it's bright pink, uh, tulip pink fabric. That's lovely. I know, it is fancy. Mm. I know. A bit nice. It was a present from Crazy Lorraine. Oh, I was watching, I've started watching Desperate Housewives again. I love that oh, show. Oh, have you? Yeah. And when I see Brie and my, everything she was doing on it, I think, oh, that's us on Savvy Court oh. and Savvy Street. Yeah. I loved that show. It was fantastic. It was great, wasn't it? I loved it. That's why I'm watching it again. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hooked on Secret Life of the Zoo, Janice. Oh, I haven't seen that one. It's just Chester Zoo. It's just, you know, they oh, do I've backstage. taped it. I've taped it. Well, I was on Series 7. Yeah. And um, now it's jumped back to Series 1 again. Now, but I hadn't seen the first few series. So, so you watched it again? Yeah. Uh, given it's fiddly, make the cap. Hang on. Given it's fiddly, make the cameras doing well. Oh, right. Uh, given it's a fiddly make, doing it well to pick up the points. You're doing well to do... I'm not saying this properly, am I? <laughs> given it's a fiddly make, the camera's doing well to pick up the points we could miss. So that's a little Paul good. compliment there. Well done, Paul. Love you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Right, we're back to where we were now, Janice. We're back to where we were. So then we've got the podge. So then we got the podge. <laughs> yeah, you haven't finished yet. You've, You've got, got the 15 podge, minutes eh? to go. Or less right. Than 15. So what we do then, you do exactly the same with the base. Right. Now with the base, what you've got to remember is the right, pattern. Breathe. Right. <laughs> I just worry because you go, you, when you get into Janice mode, you stop breathing and you just carry on going. Right, so go on, tell us what we do with right. the base. The base, she's got a circle that you cut out, but what you have to do is cut the inner circle out. Right. Because don't just cut out, you know, or go for that and cut right. out that. Cut out the outer line first. Yeah. And with the outer line, you cut out the large shape. Right. Then you get your marker pen. Oh, And you right, put right, that right. on the so line. So she's got two templates in one, basically. Yeah, yeah, two templates in one. So don't ignore the shape of it. Yeah. That's why I did that. Yeah, right? perfect. Then what you do, again... You do exactly the same as you did with that. You yeah. do the wavy patterns on the actual. Okay, so you cut the smaller circle this out is the on base the lining and the, the wadding. Yeah. And the and that's going to act as a binding again. Right. Okay. Yeah. So to find the middle, fold that one in half. Yeah. Just run your hand there, because again, I always start in the middle, and start with your wavy line, going down, like so. Now. You haven't got to cast on and off at the end. Yeah. Uh, because for quickness, yeah. if you don't want to. But you to keep it neat, I would. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. you don't have to because the binding is going to just hold it together. So again, wavy lines or whatever quilting you want to yeah. do. That's that one. And of course this is small, so yeah. It's just... How many lines would you do? How many lines have you well, done? Well, I've done three on oh, that's one it. side. Yeah. But no, that was just the one side, and now I'm going back oh, to the other Oh, now Beth, side. the spiral on, on hers... Did she? On this one here, there's a spiral... Oh, is it a spiral or is it just circles? Hang on. No, she's done a spiral on this one, on the bottom of this one. Oh, has she? Yeah. But again, it's your own, it's your it's own you choice, isn't do. it? And she's cross-hatched this one on the outside. Also, on this side, there's only two. So then what you do, yeah. 
So once you've got that, yeah. okay, what you then do, you attach that to the bottom of the base. Right. Okay. And you can do it anyway. But <laughs> but what it also is, you've got to really manipulate it in because it is a bit bigger. Right. So if you just manipulate it in, like so. And then we're going to just machine it down. Right, so, so you've got the, the lining on the inside. Got so the you're sewing around the, the edge of the wadding, yeah. not the edge of the big circle. Yeah, That's got it. it. Okay, so we're just attaching the one with the wadding on. Yeah. And then we join them. To, in fact, this would be better with pins. Pins, yeah. Definitely. Because then you can put them on up the like clips. soldiers going around yeah. it, can't you? What am I doing? Yes, you can, but you see, again, that's the thing with left-handed people. It's awkward for us to go in like that. Oh, yes. It is. You, can, you don't think of that. No. This is why I always put my pins in like this. The long way round. long way round. Because to do it that you way... You need a left-handed sewing machine then, really, don't you? <laughs> if only, John. Why would you have to such... Yeah, it's, it's awkward. Some things can be ever so awkward when you're left-handed. Yeah. So, and that's probably why in some states, things you d I do, you, I do look awkward. Yeah. You know. But then I, I, when I sew it round, I sew it like that. Yes. So, so I can take the pins out. <laughs> so if you're left-handed. Hannah's, you're left-handed, aren't you, Hannah? Yeah. More creative people left-handed, she says. Yeah, a lot of people are. I'm not left-handed. Left you're, you're not, still you're creative. not creative, Paul. He's still Mind creative. Mind you, he did do his own kitchen cupboards in his old flat. Did he? Mm, I covered them with laminate or whatever it was. Oh, then. gosh. I thought you said built them then. Mm? I thought you meant built them then. No, no, he didn't build them. Okay. How are we doing for time, John? How many minutes have we got? <gasps> oh, Janice, three. Three? Yeah. Okay. So then, once you've done that... Just go all the way around, manipulate it in and machine it. Yeah. And then with that binding, you, the top of the binding, it has to be very taut for it to fit. Right. But she explains it all in the pattern. Okay. Okay. I'm ever so sorry last time. Yeah, don't be, stop apologising, Janice. So, that's it. So Gerardine's yeah, left-handed too. Yeah. Yeah. She knew already. So that's how I now put it on the machine. I hold it like it's up, quarter of an inch in. And then Paul I thinks you're making a witch's over. hat for him now. I know. <laughs> it doesn't look like a witch's hat, doesn't it? So I try or and a, a hat for a nice dead foot. So I'm just going now and now. And we skin it here with the pins in. Oh, mm. we've only got one minute left. Okay. Yeah, have we got a clock? Da -da 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 -da. Janice. Countdown. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Like, it is like a witch's hat the way I do it on the machine. It is. But I find this easier for me. Oh, what? I find it easier for yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's it right. Way. It's a much easier way to sew. I'm just trying to. Breaking the needle. Yeah, Paul says put your tongue in. <laughs> put your <the> tongue in. <laughs> okay, nearly there, nearly there. Nearly there. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Right, don't forget to take the pins out though. And cut. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then what you do, oh, come on, more fingers and thumbs. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Right. Yeah, don't forget to count them in and count them out mm. like a surgeon, yeah. <laughs> and then what you do, John? Yeah. You do that and you fold it in and fold it in again. Okay. And then hand, you have to hand stitch this yeah. one in. Okay. So you do that, yeah. okay, all the way around and hand stitch that in. Right. Then on the top, all you do, get your binding. Yeah, don't say it, just talk it through. So, yeah. and what you've got to do is make sure this fits taut. So you do a machine stitch. Hang on, there's a there's a there's a, 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 a 
pat, uh, pattern piece for this, isn't it? Because yeah. it an it's an unusual shape, isn't yeah. it? It's a kind it's, of like S shape that, uh, that makes uh, sure that you cut it out the way Beth says it because it makes sorry. it go on the bias. It's like you're on the bias, It's it? that on the fold. Yeah, there you go. You do it that way. It's Perfect. that on the fold. And yeah. then that's how you make your little tag. But you do that. So is this the sure only place taught. we see the pale blue on yours? Yeah. yeah. Pale blue. Around the top. So you sew it on the outside? So, yeah, you sew it on the yeah, outside just to, and then you, right a bit. you hand stitch it again. Yeah. You hand stitch it again yeah. to join it. Perfect. And Trim then that then down, then hand stitch that on, machine stitch that on, and then hand stitch, stitch over. it and over. And the little tab? And then the little tag, you just fold it in, fold it in, bring them together like so. Yeah. And then just sew it on the outside, and I sewed mine there at the top Perfect. of the part. And that's it. Lovely, thank you, Janice. <laughs> that was br that was brilliant. It was brilliant. When so are we next? That's it. Twenty fourth of April. Twenty fourth of April. What day of the week is that? I think it might be a Saturday. It's me. I'm I'm over every weekend in April, so you'll see me then. It's a Saturday, so we'll it's see you then. Oh, in fact, Hannah's not in that weekend. No. Oh, isn't she? No, she is. She is. She's the week she off the weekend before. Right. Okay. What do I need to thank you anyway, Janice? Thank you. Right, the bundle of patterns is about to sell out, just so you know. Are we, are we putting it? Oh, there it is. It's, uh, no, hang on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 12 99 There you go. So they're about to sell out. Please check out if you've got those in your basket. Jenny says, love your shows, Janice. Well done, Janice. Never made anything without having to unpick it. You're doing great. Uh, Derek broke a needle on a button last night. Um, Julie says, I get mixed up in my sewing room. No, no nev never mind on telly. Right, okay, so that's done, that's done, right. Oh, singularly. Oh, whoa! Yeah, someone's done. The, the, the reason these tables move, Paul, is that nobody's put the lock on. That's what it is. Which one first? Storage pods. Oh, sorry, I was looking completely in the wrong direction then. I do apologise. So, uh, this is at 6.50. Storage pods. Six pound fifty. Then we've also got the bubble pods. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Don't know what that is. All you to do. Don't quote that. Six fifty. These are the bubble pods. We are the bubble pods. Bubble, bubble, bubble pods. What's that song? We are the something bird. No, no not matchstick men. That goes, they were matchstick men and matchstick. We are the dirt. Diddy men. I'm singing the Diddy men. <laughs> yeah. There's a documentary about Ken Dodd on telly at the moment. Anyway. Right. What's next? Am I doing anything else or am I going? We're going to go for a break. We'll come back after the break with uh, lovely fabrics some kits, some brand new fabrics. Well, we've got some gingham, but the one I wanted sold out already. We've got some surprise crashes, crash price crashes. And anyway, 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 we've got to go. We'll see you. Thank you, Janice, by the way. We will see you in three minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. 
Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page in need of a crafting fix there are so many ways you can watch sewing street and yarn lane sewing street is live from 8 a.m to 1 p.m every day on freeview 72 and sky 670 Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. We've got an Easter competition. You can't uh, enter until tomorrow. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is over the four days of Easter, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you have to spot the golden egg, right? And then on Monday, tomorrow, you can email in, uh, on email only, uh, you say the egg was here on Friday, the egg was here on Saturday, the egg was here on Sunday, and then all your names will go into a hat, and one person will win all of this, right? It's the most beautiful fabric. They're all half metre pieces and there's a hundred of them. There are a hundred there, so you're getting 50 metres of fabric. How brilliant is that? And all you have to do is spot the golden egg. I don't know where it is. Oh, wait. Anyway, anyway, so on, you, tomorrow, message in. And if you didn't watch Friday or Saturday, just go to YouTube and have a look. It's only in one place. When, uh, there's the, there it is. Wendy was a little bit confused on Friday because she kept saying to Kat, let's move it every hour. And Kat was like, no, no, the idea is it stays in one place for a competition. So, so that's that. I just wanted, to show, just wanted to show you that. So I will come back in a minute and do that. 
I'll put that there, put that there, put that there, and then come with me to the other side. Come with me to the other side. Oops, something just dropped on the floor. Right, got some good news. Now, some of these prices, I can't, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, Janice. <laughs> yeah. Janice left the sewing machine. Janice isn't down there, she left the sewing machine down there. Right, so let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> she, she tucked it in so I didn't trip over on it, but then I couldn't get my chair underneath here, could I? Right, come on then, let's go, let's go. Last, fo last 50 minutes now. Brand new Lewis and Irene fabric. They're not, um, uh, but it's not a mega bundle, they're all just by the half metre. Right, now, Hannah loves these. Now, can I just explain what bumbleberries are? In Lewis and Irene, you know how we do, excuse me, the mixer, the shadow, the, and, and Liberty do the Wiltshire shadow as their, as their blender. Each time they bring out a collection of fabrics, they bring out four or five bumbleberries to go with that collection. Oh, I tell you, the bumbleberries, there's about 30 colours of them, and they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. These are the only two colours I've got today. These are the only two colours I've got. So, uh, which one should I do first? The blue one first. So, this is brand new today. Brand new today. Lewis and Irene. Uh, this one is, well, no, because it won't have the colour. Oh, uh, no, it just says bumbleberry on it. I don't think it has the colour on the on the side, does it? Let me just look at the gold one. Look at that one. No, see, it doesn't have a colour on it. They'd, but they've been doing it for years. Bumbleberry's been around for years. But they just do lots and lots of different, if you, I mean, the, the colour chart of the Lewis and Irene bumbleberries is just, because every every collection they've done, they've had bumbleberries to go with. It's beautiful, isn't it? Usually used as a blender, but you, that could be used as a frock. You could use it as a skirt. It, it is, it is. Yeah. Let me just hold this up for you. Let me just hold this up. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, on the website, it does look a little bit washed out. It does look a little bit washed out on the website. There is colour in it. Uh, on your telly at the moment, that's a bit brighter than it really is, I think. Anyway, six ninety nine for half a metre, one hundred percent cotton, quilting weight, Lewis and Irene. Oh, is it? It's the first time that Sewing Street's had bumbleberries. No, no, no. You need to ask buying to show you the colour chart, Hannah. It's incredible. Yes, you, you, you would end up buying half a metre of all the different colours and just keeping them in a pile at home because they're so beautiful. So that's the blue one we've got today. And then this is the... Now, the thing is, the colour we've got in here might not be the Lewis and Irene colour. It might be our own version of the colour. There's no sheen to it. No, whoever asked that. Was that you or the old customer? No, there's no sheen on it. There's no sheen on it. It's like your normal quilting weight fabrics. You see, they might have choked, because our, our department wanted to call that coffee. So I reckon that might be the real colour of it. Six ninety nine. Though they would pull. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence for half a metre. You can have as much as you want in increments of half a metre and it will come together in one piece. It's 44 inches wide. It's machine washable. It's Lewis and Irene. Have you looked up? Mm. Okay, right. So, none of these are in a bundle. I'm just going to work my way through these. Do you want me to go in any particular order? Okay, so this, these are... Oh, what? I'm going to call them spring because don't say Easter because it's too late for Easter, but they're very spring, these. This one's, look. I thought, no, no, I thought it was, hedge I didn't got my glasses on. I was, like, I was about to say, oh, oh, look at the hedgehog. It's little chicks. Little chicks in a nest. No, no blue tits have moved into my nesting box yet.
Yeah, Lo only watched the beginning of the show and then she went off in the... In, Lo and, and Jeff have been gone on, gone to the... Lo and behold, yeah. They've gone off and she's just tuned in because she's sitting on Dartmoor now. She'll just tune in. I've changed... Yeah, this is the one that Janice bought me from Canada. So I'm wearing this shirt. Um, I, look at the selvage on this. Can I just show you the selvage? Look. Aren't they lovely? But this fabric's beautiful. Now, I'd say the background was a lavender. Lilac or lilac, is it? Is it lilac? What have we called it? Grey. No, it's definitely not grey. It's definitely, definitely, definitely not grey. It's either, I'd say lavender. But, oh, no, I know. Palma violets. Do you remember the sweets, Palma violets? That's the colour of the background of this. So cute, isn't it? I'm thinking little girls' dresses. I know it's a quilting fabric, but I'm thinking little girls' dresses for this. Cute, isn't it? Right, moving on. Now, the next one is a little bit outrageous, I'd say. Not, out, not outrageous naughty, but out, outrageous fun. But look. It's little Paul in a tree. No. What do we call this? Bunny hop. Bunny on pink. Well, it's not. It's on white. There's pink blossom on the trees. And the bunnies are mulberry with pink cheeks. I don't know if they are outraged. I don't think that's the right word. I was just shocked. that it, I thought it was going to be more demure than it was. Bunny hop. Pretty, isn't it? I'd love to see what, because Lewis and Irene always design a quilt. In fact, our friend Jess normally makes them, designs them, doesn't she? Um, I'd love to know the quilt that they designed to go with this one, this range. Look. Now, a, a couple of weeks ago, we had a, a, a fabric hour, or was it a dressmaking show? And I was like, who'd buy the one with bunnies on? Oh, I knew it was a sophisticated lady's blouse, wasn't it? And I went, who'd buy bunnies with it? Anyway, the bunny fabric was the first one to sell out. These are dancing bunnies. Well, bunny hop is a dance, isn't it? Dancing bunnies on... That does not say mushroom. Okay. Unless you're going to be eating purple mushrooms this Easter. The background, right, I'm ever so sorry, and I'm not being negative in the slightest. I just want you at home to know what you're getting. That background is not mushroom. So this is like a pale, pale lavender, and then the rabbits are a dark lavender. And then the centre of the... Um, Flower is like a gold colour, not shiny gold, not, not um, sh shiny gold. What am I trying to say? Not metallic, not metallic, that's what I'm trying to say, sorry. <laughs> All right, they're taking the mickey out of me now because they said, well, have you done a day at Jewelry Maker this week? I'm GIA trained, I'll have you know. Right, okay, so if the last one was mushroom, what they called this one? Blooming, I don't know. What they called this one? Oh, they've called it pink, that's all right then. It's good old-fashioned pink, this, I'd call this. No, there's nothing shiny on here. There's the gold in the middle of the flowers, but it's not shiny gold. Oh, no, don't send in the egg messages yet. You have to wait till tomorrow, and you have to, you have to do all four. Who's on tomorrow? Is it Rebecca Reed? Oh, no, who's... Re Rebecca Reed's got a lot of explaining to do tomorrow, hasn't she? 6 99 for half a metre. You can't enter the competition till tomorrow because you need to know all four locations. You need to know where it was on Friday, where it was on Friday, where it was on Saturday, where it is on Sunday, and where it is on Monday. I don't know where it's going to be on Monday. I wasn't pointing in particular directions. Oh, did I? I don't even know where. I wasn't in on Friday. I've got no idea where it was on Friday. No. 
No, Saturday. I was in on Saturday and Sun. Yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yes, then today. This is gorgeous. Look at this fabric. So you've got green and blue in here. There's green in there and blue. Right, oh no, I'm gonna have to have a word. There's no, it's not gray, it's, the, it's like periwinkle blue, I'd call that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, because this is what else is coming, right? This is adorable. Look, so you get the lovely, lovely flowers, but then look, look, can you see? Oh, hang on, where are you there? Look, little rabbits every so often, there's little rabbits. The flowers have got green dots in the, in the middle. They're on white fabric and then there's background, I'm sorry, there are white flowers on the blue, periwinkle blue. Right, okay, have a look at that. I know it's blurred, but I, it's not gray. Look at it next to my shirt. My shirt's not gray. It's gorgeous though, it's beautiful. Make sure you get some of this. Okay, six ninety nine. It's really good. I mean, quilting cotton for six ninety nine for half a meter from Lewis and Irene is brilliant. Okay, now I've got you saw this one. This is the one I called outrageous earlier, but with the white background. This oh, this is lovely. Oh, it said blue this time. It's the same colour, blue. Blue this one. So, uh, it's called bunny hop bunnies. Oh, just bunnies. Okay, the we're just waiting for the camera to come in on it. There you go. It's cute, isn't it? Now, you've got your blossom in your two colourways, the same as you have on the white. Your bunnies on the last one were mulberry coloured. They're actually white on these with, with pink tummies. So you've got black, blue, periwinkle blue, bright pink, mid pink and soft pink on this one. Beautiful. Now we're changing colour tactic completely now. Well, actually, actually, uh, two of these, fa no, I'm going to, oh, right, I'm going to do this one first because we've seen this pattern earlier. It's on the chicks in the nest. I'll just, I'll just wait for the tactic colour. Mustard. Get in there, isn't it? There's mustard in it because the little chick's feet and wings are mustard. Anyway, you can see it at home. It's lovely lemon. Well, I, no, is it lemon? Because there's, there's a bit of green in I'd say it was lime. To be honest, I'd say that was a soft lime. Wouldn't you, Anna? And these aren't hedgehogs. They're two chick. They're two chicks. No, I thought it was chick uh, hedgehogs when I first looked at it, thinking, "Oh, I want some of that for my entice hedgehog." No. Well, no, because the hedgehogs haven't come to my hedgehog hotel. The blue tits haven't come to the blue tit house. Right. Look at this. This is in two different colourways. Obviously, one's mustard. Not quite sure what colour this one is. Hang on. So there's the yellow one, there's the green one. Right, okay, the green, I'm going to do the green one first because over half the stock's gone already on pre-order. Look, that is just beautiful. Look at the flowers and the rabbits. Oh, oh no, that's not the same as the blue one, is it? No. How cute. So you've got, what's, what's that famous... Um, William Morris, snake's head. The snake's head's there. I think they are little... Oh, look, they're, they're so beautiful. There's so much going on. Lily of the Valley. I think we have got the seasons mixed here, but that doesn't matter. What's the pattern called? Floral. Floral. 
African violets. We've got African violets in the middle there. My theme at Jewelry Maker this week was Africa. They're doing around the world. The next day they were doing Europe. And we had lots of shiny gold. Okay, and the last one now. Have they called this one mustard then? Mustard called it that. Oh, they go, it is called mustard. I think it's lovely. I think the green one's my favourite, I have to say. Six ninety nine. How many days have we got off, Hannah? One. Oh. Are we in on Tuesday and Wednesday or just Tuesday? No. She said no. We're in Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we've got Thursday and Friday off. And, and then I'm in Monday as well. Anyway. Okay, lovely. Now, Gingham's, I know one of these is sold out. So I don't know why it's on my table. You see, I'd love, oh, I love these. I love, well, I'll just put them in the shop. I, it's not, we haven't got a bundle, have we? Just, but that green, sold out already. Before we even showed it. Right, so I've got it in yellow, navy blue, and red. Oh, is it? I'm saying navy blue. I've got two smaller ginghams. I've got a pink and green in smaller ginghams there. Navy first. Now, these would be beautiful to have sh shirts in. Actually, let me... F it's now, it's quite fine. It's almost like a lawn, this one. Let's have a look what they've called it. Okay, right. Yarn dyed cotton gingham, right? Uh, which means that a yarn, when it's yarn dyed, if you look here, look at the warp. No, the weft, the weft, sorry. Look, you can see that it's actually woven in the different, oh, hang on a second, woven in the different colours there. So if you did it this way as well, let's have a look what you do this way. I can't fray it now that way. Beautiful. Now it is, you know what, how much is this? Three ninety nine. Right, this is what we should have had for the pyjamas yesterday. This is the fabric we should have had for the pyjamas yesterday. Yeah? On trend, Gingham is so on trend, but even not for on trend. First of all, it's a beautiful weight fabric for pyjamas. It's a really, really lovely cotton. It's lightweight. Now, I say it was too lightweight to make a dress out of because it feels like a lawn rather than a poplin or a quilting weight. But it would have been perfect for those pyjamas yesterday. And look at the price, 3 99 because you needed four and a half metres, didn't you? So that would have kept it the price nice. Oh, Gerardine's off. Right, that's the navy. Now I've got the yellow. See, this is a beautiful colour. They're very pure, the colours in it. Oh, that's nice. 3 99 you see. 3 99 for half a metre. It's beautiful. I just think make a I just think I'm just thinking like a summer shirt or a spring. I mean you could make a skirt out of it, but it'd be a very, very floaty skirt because it's a lightweight cotton. What would you do, Hannah? School? Scrunches for school? Well, also, it depends. Do they still have teams at school? Do you still have, like, blue, red, green? What was the fourth one? Blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. Oh, the other prime, the posh primary school. Yeah. We had uh, victory, discovery, revenge... Well, they're names of ships. They're names of ships. I can't remember what the fourth one was. Was it Endeavour or something like that? But they were our school... And we sat... When sports day, we used to have to wear... Like a... Not a sash. It was like a thin cotton band that you'd wear around so they knew which team you were in. I'm going back a long time now. Nowadays, it would be a film in black and white. You know what I mean? 
Now this is nice. I wouldn't know which. I love all four of them. Well, you couldn't buy the green because it sold out, but I loved all four of those colours. Oh, that's nice. Gingham in red. Now look, at, I put my hand in because I've got two more ginghams coming up in a minute which are much smaller. In fact, let me show you them now. They're coming up in a minute. Do you see, they say school dresses to me. Three ninety nine. It's lovely, isn't it? Funny that the green was first to go. Oh, I wonder if there's a, a project coming up in the green uh, in this week sometime. Maybe could be. There was a little bit less in pro in um, quantity. That's what. Thank you, honey. Righty ho. Shall I do those two ginghams now? Yeah. So I've got the pink, and there's a much smaller gingham. In the pink and the green. Okay. Pink check on white gingham. Do the pink one first. Oh, again, three ninety nine. It's pretty, but it looks much smaller. Much, much smaller. Pretty. Got it in an apple green next. Only, I've only got this one in the two colourways. Apple green, I'd say I'd call this one apple. I've told that, I've said that so many times. I've apple green. I called this apple green. Oh, they called it mint. There we go. Who am I? Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean. Okay, $3.99. Do you know what? 40 years ago, Bucks Fizz, Eurovision Song Contest, 40 years ago. Exactly, See, even Paul remembers it and he wasn't around. Um, but no, 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 but I was on the bus every day going to my final teaching practice and I wouldn't get off the bus, because we had music on the bus, <laughs> they wouldn't, I wouldn't get off the bus until, they, until Terry Wogan, who was doing the breakfast show, played Making Your Mind Up, Bucks Fizz Making Your Mind Up. And, and I'm friends with Cheryl Baker now. Three ninety nine. I know, but how's that? How I can remember the smell of the bus going into school in the morning. I can remember being in the sp the. It was Garforth Comprehensive. It's not called Garforth Comp anymore. It's called Garforth Academy or something like that now. So I was doing my final teaching practice in Garforth Comp this time forty years ago. How terrifying is that? In fact, I must have just finished because I finished in time for the Easter holidays. So I must have just finished it. That's terrifying, isn't it? And what about Steps' new song? Do we love Steps? Michelle Visage is in it. Miss Michelle Visage? She's, she's in, used to be in a girl band. Miss Michelle Visage. Just for this one song. Just for this one. Because Lisa uh, is stuck in Dubai. So, uh, so she does her bit of the video in Dubai. And then um, Michelle Visage does her heart starts beating. Yeah, she's been a girl band in America. Right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Gingham ribbons. Colour first. Now these are different sizes. Right, so the pink is 15 millimetres wide, four metres of it. Now this is wired edged ribbon. So don't use this for sewing. This has got the wire red edge, so you need to, this one's for like putting around parcels and things like that. This is a craft ribbon, not a sewing ribbon. Yeah, it's got wire, it's got wire down the edges there. Yeah. I'll show you like that. There you go. So you get four meters of it, it's 15 million twice, but don't use it. Well, you can use it, but I wouldn't use it for sewing because it's got wire in it. In fact, I think all of these might be. No? Oh, yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, so that's the pink one. I've got it in, now this looks like it's brown. Ending 90. I like it, it looks like a vintage ribbon, look. <laughs> chocolate and tan. Well, no, I'd say it was chocolate and tan. Yeah, chocolate and tan. You've got chocolate, Paul. You've got chocolate egg. 
No, no, you got chocolate orange. I oh, want a tan. I so want to be on a beach. Oh, don't. Lying on a beach in the Californian sunshine. Don't. Anyway, that's the chocolate and tan one. So don't tell me they've called this mint and white. Oh. <laughs> This one's lime. Now this one, oh hang on, this is a different width. Different width, this one. This is 20 millimetres on this one. Yeah, this is still the craft one. Doesn't mention it on there though. No, I'm going to open. How many of these have I got? This one doesn't. No, now the green one's not got wire in it. Right, sorry, so the pink one's got wire in the edge, the chocolate and tan and the green one don't have wire in the edge. Look, you can see, because it, would, it wouldn't do that if it did. It's lovely though, isn't it? I love that. Okay, moving on. Next is... Oh, yeah, underneath, sorry, yeah, sorry, 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 that's my bad, there you go. Yeah, so everything on that side we've done, everything on this side we've still got to do. The, which one do you say, sorry, first? Charm pack, the, the layer cake, who you say? Design roll. Right, okay, so this, this is, uh, this is how yours arrive, I'm not opening this one, because it's all nicely wrapped to come to you, but these are the fabrics, it's Riley Blake, these are the gorgeous fabrics in there. No, oh yeah, there you go, just look. Keys, writing, tulips. Oh, oh, Riley Blake. Very similar, now I'm not saying anything, but it's very similar to the Lewis and Irene. I wonder if they've got it with different backgrounds. Oh, they've got those with a navy background and a pink background. Oh, that's nice, look at that. Oh, now I remember this from a project. Flowers. The Czech ones are nice, aren't they? I don't think they're all. I don't think they're all here. You get forty-two, I think, don't you, in here? Oh, I think so. Oh, it says forty on the graphic. Sorry, thanks, Paul. Look, there's the blue background floral. They're all lovely, aren't they? Imagine those all together. Beautiful. Uh, so, how much is it? Let me have it. Forty-nine ninety-nine. You get 40 strips, width of fabric, so 42, 40, 42, 43 inches long. And then, and then you've, you've got two and a half inch strips. I know. Okay. I've got a layer cake of the same fabric. How many have I got of those? Okay, I'm going to open this one just to show. I went, oh. We had one of these open somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've just cut my nails. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so it's all the same fabrics that you saw in the design roll. No, I'm not surprised. But these, these are the patterns here. These are all the patterns here. They're 10 inch squares. Look. Oh, actually. Oh, here we go, look. 10 inch squares, beautiful, aren't they? Oh, and of course now I can't, there you go. Roxana, I have got your finger grips somewhere here. I brought them out with me, but I didn't. Look, I did. They're in that trolley over there. It's the trouble, that's the trouble. Look, look, Laura. No. Pardon? So you got the keys, tulips, keys again. I'm just I'm just showing the odd. I'm not showing. Oh look, isn't that lovely? Oh, lots of these gone in baskets. How many pieces are on there then? Forty-two. I knew one of them had forty-two in. 
42 10 inch squares you get in there for your 49.99 that color's lovely isn't it what color would you call that no it's not terracotta crimson e wine Beautiful. Lo loves the Steps new song, and it's 30 years since Prime Suspect. Oh, blimey, I used to socialise with her. What was she called? The lady who wrote it. We used to get to sew her house together. And Janet Mattia, who was a very good friend of mine then, she was played, she played the lead, didn't she, in a lot of those? Anyway, moving on. Let's not reminisce. Oh, pardon? Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> Hannah? Right, let's go. Where's next, then? Right, OK, now I need to explain these, folks. Before we do anything, don't put any graphics in or anything, right? This is a beginner's kit that Yvonne McAtamney from Village Fabrics designed exclusively for us, right? They're all the same pattern, just got different fabrics in them. Now, when you buy these, you will get a link sent to you, like an email link sent to you, with where you can go to watch the cutting out, the binding, and the finishing off of, and then there's a show on YouTube where you can watch Yvonne putting it together, right? You get all of that involved, right? But let me just tell you, before I go any further, you in each of them, you get the fabric, you get two threads, you get machine needles, you get hand needles, everything you need. The wadding's in there, the backing is in there, the binding is in there, you even get a quilt label, everything is in there. You just have to choose, I love the way this one's been packed, you just have to choose which colourway you want to go with. S country is this one, is it's this country, because there's batik, there's modern, that one country, I thought that one's called traditional. I'll give you the number. Yeah. So you get the instructions, the fabric, the needles, the threads, the wadding, and the backing. And you get a link. You get a you get a link to watch secret uh, films that Yvonne made for you. And you can also go to about this. Yeah, so it shows you how to cut it out, how to bind it, how to finish it off. Oh. Right, that is how much, we've sold hundreds of these. Hundreds and hundreds of these beginner kits. Gone. There's the finished one. Oh, not that. <laughs> you don't get sheep on yours. Right, that's the finished one here. So you get the, the green fabric. The, uh, there's the red fabric. You get your two threads, one for piecing, one for quilting. Machine needles, hand needle, label, wadding, backing fabric, everything you need in there. Right, look. We have never, ever, ever reduced this in price before. Wow, 30, that's a lot, because it was £45, wasn't it? £45.99 is what it was. You are now going to get it for £36.76. How much is that then? That's £9. Oh, that's a lot. Is it 20%? 20% off? 20% off. Jill, I'm afraid we can't help you here because I can't look that up while I'm sitting. Oh, Alice and Marion. Alice and Marion, are you watching? Could you answer that question from Jill? It's about one of your projects. Thank you. Well, no, no, because I can't, I can't, we can't look it up now, can we? Beautiful. Uh, just taking 20% off there. 20% off there. Nice. Easter treats. Treat yourself. That, so that one there, that one there. You eating your lunch now, Hannah? Blimey, there's a lot of chocolate in those rabbits. Oh, she's just bitten her tongue now. Keep going through. She's got what? Is that what your mum's making in the garden? 
Are you having a barbecue? Nice. Right. That's that one. Now, which colourway next? Batik. So now we're going to do the same on all four of them. So here's your batik version. Paul will show you a picture of the finished thing in a minute. So you get your batik fab oh, wrong way up. Batik fabrics, your needles, your thread, your thread. Here it is, there's the finished thing. Crashing. There she is. This is it. You know where it's going. 3676. 30 why there'd be a sheep why would there be sheep on the thing on the system? 36 pounds and 76 pence. It's called tessellation, isn't it? Oh, it's got a noise. Well, we don't hear that in here. Okay. Oh, what is it? Like bar? Bah, like that. Oh. 3676, you get everything you need in here, including the link to watch the extra. The Lewis and Irene, you mean the final, or oh, the green one, the floral one. There's only a metre and a half of the one on green, the floral one on green left. Oh, Alison Marion's answered. I'm just going to measure it for you after lunch, Jill. Well done, everyone's got these. Discount. Discount. Modern is this one here now. I, well, I'll need to show you a picture of the finished one of this because inside the, somebody's... You will get all the fabrics. It's just our sample one here. We'll crash straight away and then Paul will show you the picture. There you go. That's the modern one. So you've got the lovely uh, greys and yellows in there. And blue. And blue, sorry. Is it blue or grey? No, blue. Blue, blue, blue. You know where it's going. Thirty-six and six. You are. There's birds in there as well. Oh, lovely and sunny here, says Stuart. So I'm going to go for a run. Oh, blimey. Are those sheep from Yarn Lane? Yes, they are indeed. Right. Um, FIFO review. A new project never quilted before. Excellent quality material. Oh, it is. The one thing about Mrs. Mac we call her Mrs. Macadamia Nut. Yvonne Mac Macatamney, Macatamney, quality, 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 quality throughout everything. 36 pounds and 76 pence. D never been discounted before, should be 45.99. I know, and last one. Now, the fabric in mine alters, it's a little bit different to the fabric that you see. You'll show, when Paul shows the still now, and I'll show you, right. So it very, very, hardly any different, but the flower fabric in the block there is slightly different to the, the flower here. Going straight down. Beautiful. Look at the quilt label on that one. Everything you need. Sewing machine needles, hand machine needles, uh, hand machine needles, hand needles. Uh, the, sewing, the thread to sew it together with, the thread to quilt it with. You get the wadding, you get the backing, you get the binding. This one's very limited already, this one. Very limited. I wish I was one of those people who could just go, oh, I'm going to go for a run now. I've never been able to run, ever. Ever. What day is it? Sunday. Oh, I'm doing a Facebook Live at four o'clock, everyone, by the way. And then I'm going for a walk with Dulcie. Be one of the last weekends we can do that because they start filming Matilda soon, so I won't see her. Right, what's next? Heart table runner. Oh, if you love Yvonne, this, this isn't being discounted as well, surely. £24.99 is where you should be. Right, again, you get everything, in this one, you get everything for the top and the binding. You don't get the wadding or the backing in this one or the, or the sewing machines or anything. Sewing machines, sewing machine needles. Come on then, let's do it. Let's see what it is. Oh, 19.99. That's brilliant. I, I don't know how Yvonne's going to feel about this. 
1999. So you get all the fabric look for the top, for the background. You just have to display your own wadding and your backing. It's not, and it's such a lovely. We haven't got it here, but it's such. Have you got a picture of it, Paul? Oh, did you? Sorry, I didn't see it. Oh, I was expecting to see one hanging in the in the you know behind me on the what's it. Oh, let's have some reviews, some FIFO reviews on this one. Uh, love this item. It's for a gift. Who was that from? Alice, Aileen, Aileen, Aileen. Pat, Pat. On FIFO. An excellent kit and instructions from Yvonne and the team. And you're getting it for nineteen ninety nine today. Another one. Looks good. Bought as a future project from Nancy. Have you made it yet, Nancy? Because you left that a month ago. Say it again. Oh, you do need to check out on this one. You do need to check out. That's how many? Fewer than 30 of these now. Um, Lowe said, there's not enough lions in this world to make me run. Lowe, it's one thing you mustn't do. If a lion chases you, you must stand still and stare it out. Do not run. That's a fact. That's what we had to learn when we did to Ghost in the Darkness. And I, I just as well, because that lion escaped and ran at me, didn't it? 1999. Don't say, oh gosh, Hannah, because you know more my stories. Nineteen ninety-nine. That's beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through. I'll show it again. Right, fewer than 20 now. Oh, more people joining all the time. Paul, can you just show the finished picture again? Sorry. 19.99. So we take, are we taking 20% off that one as well? 20% come off that price as well? I know, I know. Keep going through, keep going through. No, ignore that. I have got the Sandra bag. Now, this fabric has come all the way from Germany. It's the most beautiful open weave linen. You've got your grey fabric, you've got your pink fabric, you've got your calico fabric, and you've got your instructions. What it is, is the, the, the calico inside makes the structure, and then this fabric drapes around it. Uh, we've sold so many of these as well. Okay, we're crashing. Yeah, 20 pounds. Oh. I just read it out then. Sorry, I gave away the game then, didn't I? 20 pounds and 79 pence. Oh no, oh no. Isn't it? Well, it's because they've taken every penny they can out of it. Twenty pounds and seventy-nine pence for the village fabrics pink Sandra bag. That, you see, that pink there is for your, uh, your straps there. I think it's also just in there, isn't it? It's the facing, if I remember rightly. Your grey is inside as your lining, and then this is your main fabric. You also get a piece of calico to create the bag with. £20.79. Christine said, I used to run cross-country in 1,500 metres for my school. I loved it, but after falling down and hurting my knee at 49, I can't run anymore. Oh, no. I've never been able to run. Never. Yeah. Twenty pounds and seventy nine pence. Pattern on its own. I was a bit shocked then because it's a different picture on the front of this one. The pattern on its own. If you've got your own fabric, because you don't need any hardware. There's no hardware with this bag. Right, I don't know what we're gonna do. I oh know, £8.50 and we're going to crash. I don't know where she's going. 6 80 you're not going home, Hannah. You've got loads of packing away to do. £6.80. Well, I think you, when, when Yvonne McCack McCack sees what you're doing, you better start running. Oh, look, she just says, I couldn't run at all last year. Wouldn't have dreamt doing it at all. I've learnt through lockdown can do 10 miles now. Oh, maybe I'll start. Debbie says, I love you, John. I love you too, Debbie. Uh, all your stories. Happy Easter. Oh, hang on. We were in the Maasai Mara on holiday when a very old lion came for a wander through the restaurant that took a shortcut to the river. Well, the ones, the ones I was filming with weren't old, that was for sure. And one 
They were practicing a scene with a stump man and the lion just got bored and jumped out the tree, jumped over the electric fence that was round the tree. And I was just like standing there watching like this and suddenly there's this great big muscular lion running straight at me. And they say, don't run, right? There's no way I could have run. I just stood there thinking, this is it. This is it. I'm, I'm, this is it. There's a lion running straight towards me. Anyway, it ran past me. It knocked me absolutely flying out the way. And it's, they're, they're, they're so muscular. It's like frightening. Anyway, £6.80. £6.80. Okay, let's move on before Yvonne tunes in. Which next? I've got a thread cutter and this isn't crashing. This is already though at an early bird price. Suitable to cut thread and yarn, built-in needle threader. Oh, it's got a built-in needle threader. And a detachable yarn lanyard, even. Yarn lard, lanyard. Thread cutter. Ne oh, you slide it out. Look, to do the needle. Oh, hang on. Get it out. You've been checking out all day on this one. So there's your thread cutter. There's the blade in Oh, sorry. There's the blade inside there to cut your threads. And then... I'm presuming, how do you do this then? Yeah, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Yours might be, oh no, it's really easy. There it is. There's your thread, there. I thought it was going to be in there. There's your needle threader. No. I was pulling too hard. And then your detachable y lanyard. Okay, how do you take your lanyard off? There we go, there we go. Here's, the, here's your detachable, yeah, there you go. That's how you take your land. <laughs> I can't say. Yant lard, no. Land yard. Land yard, Yan lard. As it's a special day, uh, would you take 20% off? No, sorry. Jill, we're not, we can only take 20% off what we're told to. Oh, I've got to get up. Oh, oh! I've only, oh, it's not worth it. I've only got eight minutes. Well, no, I can't go there because you haven't put the whole thing out. No, you have not. You get two pens with it. All right, then. Why didn't you put them on the... <laughs> oh, don't pull. That's nothing compared to what we had the other day. <laughs> yes. Right, here we go. Yeah. Light box. Oh, it's come on. Magic, it came on without me touching it. Right. The <laughs> yes. Your cable won't be dodgy like this one. Right, okay. I need to, I need to show you something. You do get... It comes with a USB um, plug, but it also comes with a plug plug that you can plug the USB plug into. I don't think the one I've got down here belongs to it. Uh, okay, so four different light settings. One, two, three, four. Got it? Can you not see it? Can we drop the lights a little bit then? One, two, three, four. Uh, it's an A3. Right now, did you get your pictures? Did you look at me pictures? We've got some here. We've got some here, right? Uh, right, here we go. So the first one, I can't see from here. It's not a direct comparison because this is a notion. It's just how much you can pay for an A3. How much is it? 99.99, that one. 99 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, ours is slim. It's, a, it's LED. It's A3. Hobbycraft. Where's their price? 80 pounds. You got Argos. Have Argos still got theirs? Oh, it was the first one Argos, 99.99. Oh, cracky. I didn't. I didn't. Where did I say I didn't? I did not say Argos. I'm going to watch that when I get home. Here's another shop. Not saying it. Now, how much is that one? 89.95. 89.95. They're not direct comparisons. They're just how much you can pay for an A3. Now, I can tell you, Jackie from Great Sutton bought this one, right? 
she had bought her A4 one from somewhere else and this one was more affordable than her A4 one. Oh, now, if you look on... They sell the different sizes there. Look at, look at the A4 one. How much is that? How much? Their A4 one is £59.95, you see. This is an A3. Hmm. Oh, Hannah goes to Cass Art quite a lot. Shopping. It's nice. Is it a shop shop? Oh, there's one in Birmingham. Okay. £49.99. Surely I've got a FIFO. Oh, you can do something else, though. Oh, right, okay. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, you get two free uh, friction pens with this one. Message on your bottom. Hi, John. When will there be any remnant and cold pieces for the same... Hang on, I can't read that. When will there be any remnant and old, odd pieces, old pieces for the same sex bags? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, hang on, to reply. Just sent a message, the spell check, <laughs> alter the words of sex, apologies. Co collect, I've also got your postcode, look, that's your postcode on there. What did you mean? When will the remnants and old pieces be back in for the scrap, scrap bags? Anyway, 49.99. You do get your two, fr I've got more stuff, don't we? We don't know when, the, I'm sorry, I don't know when the remnant bags will be back. It's when we have enough remnants for the designers. So if the designers will stop taking their remnants home, then you'll get remnants bags. Remember somebody messaged in saying they got a skirt for, that Janice had made in their remnants. <laughs> Somehow, Janice's sample had got pushed into the, we have a box in the, in the guest dressing room where we put all, so at the end of the show, any remnants from Janice's will go in there sort of thing. Well, somebody obviously put a skirt that Janice made in there because somebody in their remnants bag got a skirt made by Janice. You're more than welcome, collector. You're more than welcome. Right, am I going back over there now? No? Oh, there's three minutes. and Oh, menu for tomorrow. No, I didn't say Argos. I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch it now. Joie de vivre fabric. Now, it's uh, uh, Rebecca Reed tomorrow. It's not me. Joie de vivre fabric at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, they've done that. Haven't they done that wall hanging with, um, with is it got the, which, is it different bee fabric? Oh, it's the ruler. It's the ruler with Jules Mayouf. Flower of the month quilt finale. Now, I know it's the finale because I've unpacked it. Uh, then we've got 11 o'clock, cruel work, not cruel as in nasty, cruel work with Jules Mayouf. I first saw my first bit of cruel work in John Lewis's and absolutely loved it. And I was going to have curtains made out of it from a flat, but I couldn't afford it back then. Yarn Lane Exquisite Lace Yarn Launch with Anakin Alice. That's a West Yorkshire Spinners launch. With a lightweight of lightweight yarn. I've unpacked that as well. In fact, I've unpacked everything. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget we have a competition. Uh, you, you can only enter it tomorrow. And you have to have written down on your thing where the golden egg was on Friday, where the golden egg was on Saturday, where the golden egg is today. Now, I don't know. I have no idea where the golden egg might be today. I've looked all over the set and I couldn't see. Is it on set one? No. No. Is it on set two? Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, if I finished. Uh, Rebecca, tomorrow. When am I back in? Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm in on Tuesday and... Oh, are we in Tuesday and Wednesday or just Tuesday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Have a lovely rest of your Easter. Thank you for keeping us company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. And I will see you next week.